The Ukanon. Oh, I'm sorry. Please. <laughs> Tell you must not be him. Because no way y'all allowed that to happen. Uh -huh. All right. There. 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 Well, I can always rewrite. It doesn't make a difference. All right. Listen to the book. Yeah, Ukanine, chapter 6, verse 44. Yes, sir. We we'll call it John. <coughs> Listen to the book. No, can come to me, no except the Abba. Can come unto me, except the Abba, which hath sent me, draw him. And what happened? Now we raise him up at the last June. Tell him what's written. It is written in the Nabaim. In the Nabah, that's right. In the Nabaim, they'll say prophets. Again, these are terminology. They didn't cut down, did they? All right. It's written in the Nabaim that they shall all. Be taught of Elohim. Every man, therefore, that hath heard and has learned of the Abba, therefore, cometh unto me. That's what we look at. Now, every man, therefore, that heard, every each, therefore, that had heard and learned of the Abba, cometh unto me. Which means it's how important it is that we have to be taught, right? Yes, sir. That's the whole premise of what we're doing, making sure that we have information that's prevalent to salvation. People want salvation, but they want it without information. There's a protocol that's been set up for every one of us in order for us to be saved. This is why we typically would start here trying to let people know how if we want to come to him, you can have a desire, you can want to come to him, but there are certain things that have to happen. There are certain attractions that have to occur in order for this to happen. You just can't want to come and come. Something has to happen, right? We talked about how an action can cause a, a reaction, right? So this is what we have to have. We have to have an action to cause a reaction. Let's look at uh, Yeukanon, that they'll call John again, chapter 7 and verse 37. Because <clears throat> he just told us, no man can come unto me except the Abba which have sent me draw him, and I'll raise him up at the last June. So what we prepare to do, what we've done now in preparation and coming to him is so we can set ourselves that when he returns, we can resurrect. Y'all got it? Because we talk about the last yum. That's after death. That's what we're looking for. Death for a believer, which is Kodash, not a saint. We don't do saints. There's no, there's no writings in the book for what they call a saint. All these are words that our oppressors have made up and given us. The word for believers will actually be Kodash. Right. Because Kodash would represent separated. Let's see. Um, mm. Before you get me that, see that's 2 Corinthians, chapter 6, verse 14. Kudash. It will stand for separated. This is 2 Corinthians, chapter 6, <clears throat> and verse 14. Listen to the book. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. But they'll do it all the time. That's right. Yes, sir. Huh, will you finish that up? See if that's 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13. They'll tell people all the time, well, it's not important. You can believe there. People will do that. They'll go and marry people all the real. Already knowing they don't believe the same thing. Don't make sense. He just told you by premise, be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. Right? Yes, sir. Listen. We having the same Ruach of faith. Y'all hear that? We having the same Ruach. They have spirits. We have a Ruach. Listen, of what? According of faith, and according as it that. is written. Let me see something. I'll touch our will. It's not faith. It's Amana. It's going to come from the root word Aman which is confirmed. That's what we do. It's been confirmed for us. And how we confirm it? With the scripture. Right? All right, before you finish that, now we got to jump again. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 1. So as you keep going, it's like it's more stuff, ain't it? Listen to the book. Moreover, I key... I declare unto you the debar which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, 
and wherein ye stand. By which? Also ye are saved. If. Ye keep in memory what I preached unto you. Unless. Ye have believed in vain. For what happened? For I delivered unto you first of all. You start talking about us believing now. Unless it's in vain. What did you deliver unto us? That which I also received. How the Mashiach died for our sins. How? According to the scriptures. But you know what they're saying? I just believe he died and he rose again. According to what, though? That's right. According to what? See, that's the difference. You can believe certain statements, and the statements can have validity to it. But do you believe it because of the scripture? That's the difference. Well, I don't know what the Bible say or they'll say. I don't know. I just know. I don't know how you can be saved because he just said by which also you are saved if you keep in memory what I preach, which means it has to be it has to been spoken to you. That's right. The word we look for is Amar. This ain't right. That's y'all problem. My English, man, not hot. Man, I had what my, my English is very bad. Is that spoken? Be good. All right, yeah, that's what I said. That's why I wrote it. I knew it right. Command need a what? Oh, we need an end. You know what happened? I was going. See, I was testing you, brother. And whether you know or not, you passed. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't paying attention. But anyway, so when we look at Amar, <clears throat> command or spoken, y'all got it? That's what we'll use. That's what he did in the beginning. In Barashit, he Amar, which means he spoke or command. When he spoke to Musha, Musha, Amar, which he answered back or he spoke back to him. Y'all got it? Yes, sir. So it's important for us to look, to look at our discipline. Like I said, the more we continue to learn, the more we continue to go, the more we'll start transitioning away. It's important that we started where we were at because what happened with a lot of our forefathers, the problem that came with them was a lot of these other people, they didn't know them. They didn't know these other gods. A lot of us, we started out with these other gods, and we already seen the failure of them. So you can see what happened for them. With them not knowing them, how do you actually know these other gods don't work if you never tried them? Right. That's how a lot of us got introduced into drinking and smoking because you didn't know. You just heard what people told you what happened. So somebody said, no, I used to say, I'd be like, man, I ain't smoking no weed. That's stupid. Get high. I get high. I don't think I smoke with barbecue. I said, what it do? <laughs> They'd be like, nothing. I mean, it, it really don't do nothing. Instead of you, if it don't do nothing, why am I smoking it? Right. Why are you smoking it? But that's how people do. So now the curiosity <clears throat> became, I want to know what it does. That's how a lot of us got introduced to Buddhism and other religions because we didn't know about them. But since we started out in a lot of these religions, we already seen the failure of Like Christianity. I know people, and I don't say that to kill people, I just say that so our people understand. That's a disciplined religion for keeping people slaves. You're going to be a slave to sin. Not only that, you're going to be a slave to society. Yes, sir. They, that's how they give you all these religions. These, all these religions teach you to be passive. The religion we have, the religion that Yahuwah set up and gave us, is not a passive religion. When you go back and you read historically from the book that they refuse to go back and look in because they've changed and you're new, now we don't do that again. But that's not according to what's written, though. So this is what we look at. He said, now we're having the same Ruach of Amon. When we get through print, we say Amon because you're confirming it. Well, that's what happened. Us. It confirmed. This is, when you're saying faith, we're talking about something that's been confirmed. Y'all got me? So we use Amana because it's been confirmed. And then he told us we have the same Ruach of Amon according. As it is written. That's all I got. Mm -hmm. So when people come and say, well, none of these people can dispute me what's written. Right. I, I, it might not be in there. I just know it's wrong. <laughs> according to what? That's right. Because some cracker told you? That's a lot of things I do and say. People say, you know, it's some stuff you just know is wrong. Just like you should know. It's a lot of things that that's the case you should know and you shouldn't be doing, but you do it anyway. Yeah. You should know ain't no woman got no bending away in no pants. That's right. That's right. That's scripture. Yep. A woman not supposed to wear that would pertain to a man. Neither should a man pull a woman garment for all that do so abomination. Oh, I don't know how you gonna call me a sis I got on a dress and you ain't a bulldog and you wear pants. That's right. That's right. You know what's sad about it? it it's one of the things you should know. Yeah, that's right.
But I don't use that on you. I use according to what's written. Yes, sir. I ain't got no bending with no blouse on. That's right. That's, man, let me tell you something. These people had these people's mind become so come they don't pay attention. A man's shirt and a woman's shirt, they even put the buttons on different sides. Different Most sides. of the people yep. didn't even know that. Sure How many of y'all didn't know that? Yeah, yep. that's a difference. That's right. A woman, her, her buttons on the dirt, which let you know these crackers know stuff is wrong. Yep. When they make it, when they first came out, what they call women pants, I grew up in the 70s, born in the city. Women didn't even have pockets on them. You didn't have a belt loop. They had a, you had, uh, they had spandex junk in the middle. No zip. No, they had no zip. What she need a zip? Where you going to piss out of? <laughs> now they got pants. Zip them up. Yep. Button, pockets, all on the back. What the hell you doing a wallet? Right. <laughs> a belt going in them. Because you know this, this is all transgression. Yep. He starred you off a little bit, but for, that the book said a little leaven. Leaven a whole lot. Before you know what they are, and they start sending it back. He had no woman. I grew up in no barber shop. That's right. Never have. Now she in this hell. She holding me on. I'm trying to get, she trying to get a line in the Yep. Back. Edge her front. Yep. I grew up as an abomination. He had no stuff like that, no woman sitting in there. That's right. That's how things start changing. Then the men, too, now, we start crossing on the beauty parlor. Yep. Now I got a Jerry Care. I ain't gonna lie. You ain't, you ain't getting no Jerry Care in no barbershop. Nope. Ain't no barbershop putting them not bad. Mm -hmm. when, I, when we first came out, wasn't no barbershop doing it. That's right. That's right. You had to go in the salon. Folks see, man, see what? Look at that. Yeah, it was. You ain't do that. You get a Jerry Care, be at night. <laughs> I ain't lying. I ain't got mine. I got mine at night. <laughs> and they're right out of the bus. They didn't be drunk. It's not no broad. Then about walk by and stood it. But you said your hair on a dryer and some roll? Man, you finna be in trouble. But yeah, they, everybody know where you got it from. It's just you ain't want folk to see it now. Because we know what that was. That letter knew. We knew it was wrong. Oh, oh. Hey, you had one too. <laughs> he said, like, wrong, wrong. That was one of the yeah, well, you do a lot of hollering. <laughs> but it's the truth. People knowing themselves, but what we have to use, you can't let your self conviction be the thing that come along and condemn you. What we have to use is scripture. There are things that we condemn simply out because of how we feel about things. But now you gotta ask yourself, is it damnable to putting a person in hell? That's right. That's right. Because we're talking about scripture. No each can come unto me. No man can come unto me and the Abba which sent me, draw him. The attraction. And now I'm going to rate that attraction is in, in cause of, I'm going to rid him up in the last year. We learned that from when buildings were torn down. When Jerusalem was destroyed. Jerusalem wasn't just burned. The building, the walls were torn down. Well, guess what Nakam y'all came to do? In the last year, he reared them back up. That's right. At the time they were getting ready to transition, they were transitioning from out of the rule, from under being up under the um, Persians, had come from Babylonian, they was rearing it back up. It was the last year, so it was time to put it back up. That's how I understand it, as a man. Well, that's the same thing. There was an attraction. There was something about that said that attracted him to go there and put it back to its original state. Well, that's the same thing he said about the Dabarim. When we commit sin, and we have, We've lost an estate. You've lost an estate. That's the whole purpose now looking at, that's the attraction of coming back because we want to be put back to whole. When people in accidents and people car wreck, whatever, <laughs> nobody come there and say, typically they car been destroyed and torn us and don't worry about it. I look to do everything I can in my power to make sure you put my car back or give me better. Right? If I had to go to the hospital and I had to endure different suffering and treatment, then I have a compensation I'm looking to get for that. Because I want to be put back. Because I'm looking at, there are some things I couldn't do because of being injured by you. And I want to be compensated for time loss and wages for whatever I didn't have or I could achieve because of what you inflicted upon me. Got me? Yes, sir. So I want to be made whole. That's the purpose of us coming back here. I want to be put, I want to be made whole. That's right. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. When Yahushua came, he found one. You don't believe it. He asked the people. You want to be compensated. You want to be put back to your original state. Because that's not how I made you. Well, that alone should be an attraction to cause it to come back to him. You lost something. Okay. All right. Well, hopefully we'll catch on to it one day. But just listen to what he told. Let's give that finish that 1 Corinthians 15. Brandon, we're going to come back to that 2 Corinthians chapter 4 so we can get back to that. Uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and 14 too.
Listen to the book. This is 1 Corinthians 15 and 1. Brandon's hold of 2 Corinthians chapter 4 at verse 11 or 12. Listen to the book. Moreover, I key, I declare unto you the debar which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, uh -huh. by which also ye are saved. If ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. So now we're looking at it again. All this is key for this tying of the writings we have. When we go to Romans, the fourth and the tenth chapter of the book of Romans, the book told us how does Amon come? Amon come. By what? And what do you have to hear? So his statement doesn't contradict what we learned in the book of Romans, the tenth chapter. Because Amana comes by hearing. And what do you have to hear? The Dabarim. We've got to hear the spoken Dabarim of Allahim. That's how you get it. You just, it don't just factor up something. Don't come. I just at home and I just started all of a sudden believing. What did you hear? That's right. What did you hear? See, these are disciplined people. Are, we don't, I don't heard all kind of stories of people telling me how they got started. And it's scary. Because you sit around, you say, wow. Man, they ain't even have to hear nothing. He just came and just gave them all that. Doesn't make sense. Everybody he interacted with, he taught them. When Musha, when we learned in the third chapter of the book of U'al Shemut, that they're going to call the book of Exodus. When we learned when, Yahushua, when, when he went up, up on the mount, take off his shoes, and Yahuwah talked with him, just from that basic of what we've learned, it's like he just told them to go down and tell them to let the people go. Basically, that's all it tells you. It doesn't give you a real... Um, definitive, like, inclusive of every conversation or the whole complete conversation. Basically, he went up, took his shoes off, fell down to the ground. Am I correct? He fell down to the ground. Yahuwah told him to take the rod, throw it down, pull his hand up, put your hand in your bosom, pull out the turn from black to white. And then he told him to go down and tell him to let him go. But then we found out later that when he went down, he came, Yahuwah came to kill him. Mm -hmm. Musha. Who know why he came to kill him? He didn't circumcise Because his son wasn't circumcised. Let me ask you a question. In that third chapter, when did you hear him talk about circumcision? He had to. Because he told us, see that you do all things after the pattern I showed you in the mount. Right. So now we learned that there were some other things that happened. That's why it's so important that you got to learn the scripture. See, a Christian is so ignorant, they don't think. All they look at is, I just got to learn the New Testament. So they think this has come along and contradicted all of the historical facts that you need. Because everything that you hear them tell you what you call New Testament has to come from somewhere. Where did it come from? These people just couldn't conjure this up. Where are your statements coming from? We told us, so then a man come by hearing, hearing by the Dabarim of Allahim. Well, when he came down and Mushar told him, when I go down and tell these people that you said that you want me to come and deliver them out, they're going to want to know what's your name. Guess what a Christian tell you? I don't care what his name is. Mm -hmm. Nothing you're doing makes sense. Because they would, he know they're not going nowhere if they don't know your name. <laughs> Amazing, our parents would teach us. When I grew up, and I know now here you tell a kid, you know, I mean, if you feel like you can trust them, just go. <laughs> you ain't got to ask me. You know what's right. We came along, your ass been out and go with nobody. That's right. Everything was very limited because you had to know them and your parents had to know them. Correct? Yes, you know sir. what was amazing? The person we left out of Mizraim with, you ain't going to believe it. Our parents knew him. Yes, sir. That's right. That's how acquainted we was with them. These people are coming along with this new God. The God that they serve now, Jesus Christ, uh, God Almighty. Which means these are all Greek terminologies and Latin, yet these people will go with these things and none of your others knew about them. If this name Jesus is only a couple of hundred years old, maybe a thousand or so at best or two, then what was the name before that? That old people resurrected, how are you going to explain them about Jesus Christ? It ain't even important to them. Nothing they're doing is important to them. Because they're not honest about being saved. We're honest about being saved. They're just something. Got... So what happened before 1611? Right. So if this book was trans. Translated, translated, they call it, from another book. What was the book it was translated from? Right, right. They ain't even smart enough to ask these questions. Now, now, let's go with, what book was the book that they were translated from before that? Because they don't want to know. It's some stuff you don't want to know. Yeah. There's some people that don't, don't tell me, don't tell me, I only want to know. Because then I got to deal with reality. Yeah, that's right. You don't want to deal, let me tell you something, it's better to live in the matrix. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Once you come out the major irresponsibility. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
When Neil looked at everything he had to take on no doubt, he looked at him, I could have stayed where I was. Mm -hmm. The sit back and look at everything I've been eating ain't been right. Right. I mean, so I'm eating this, and it's a steak. He said, but I know it's not a steak. Mm -hmm. But it tastes good because I lie to myself. That's the same thing about Jesus. They know it ain't right. They know they oppressed. They white oppressed won't even come worship with them. Same name, same belief, same color. Hell, they won't even come worship with them. Yep. And in their mind, it don't matter. We both say we just different. But nothing line up with what you're saying. Now, he said, now, let's hit again 15 and 1. That's a conclusion to the matter. Listen. Moreover, I key, I declare unto you the debar which I preached unto you, yes. which also you have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved. If ye keep in memory what I have done, what what I preached unto you, unless what happened, ye have believed in vain. So what purpose of me having in memory? Because some things gonna come up, and when I'm challenged and tried by those things, I still gotta believe. That's the whole purpose. Of what he told me, he told it to me because there are some issues, there are some circumstances, some situations gonna come. There's some people I'm gonna have to part ways. There's some people I'm gonna wind up cutting off. They gonna cut off with me. There's some jobs I'm gonna lose. There's some family members that gonna die, gonna walk off. So this is when I gotta keep it. Because I got to keep this in memory to know I'm not the only person. There's no affliction. The book told us that's happened to you except which is common to each. Well, a sin, let me tell you something. This is what people faint and people fail. If my wife walked out right now and loved me, it's because of the debar. And that because now I'm going to put it all on the strength of the debar and I'm going to look at this as a failure. How is it right because she left me and she should have stayed with me and if this was right, we should have stayed together. Hell, we wonder if people out there that they never came to the Ahmad. Right. To the Ahmad, which is the word, Aubrey word for truth. And they still don't lost their wife. Yep. Go see how many sinners got their husband wife. That's right. That's right. The sinner, the one out there remarrying. That's right. So that's without this now. Yeah. So how you gonna blame everything bad on this and walk away from this? It don't get no better out there. That's right. I got we got people left here with Mary, and when they got out there, they got divorced. Yeah. That's right. That's why I gotta keep in memory what he done preached to me, unless I believed in vain. Y'all got it? Yes, sir. It's just being honest. People gonna turn around, they're gonna walk away because of what the stance you're gonna take. When you start to actually conduct yourself by what you've been taught and what's been instructed from the Dabarine. And people gonna have to part away with you. Yeah. They did to him. The man had 84 disciples. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mathedis. Mathedis. And yet 72 walked off. Yes, sir. He had to turn around and say, Will you also go? Where we gonna go? That's where we're going. You got the double of eternal life. Yes, sir. Which is Kai. You got eternal Kai. That's why but 72 saw fit to walk off. Yeah. That's what people do. Which means they didn't keep in memory what they done preached. So that meant all that, these men also went ahead in healing um, powers. Mm -hmm. They also were able to go out and instruct others. Mm -hmm. But when tribulation and persecution become of the Dabarim, by and by, they're offended. That's right. It takes something not to be offended enough not to walk off from what you believe. Listen, I, I deal with a lot of stuff people don't know about. So it's not in just in a day of stuff you have to deal with in the union. But that has no, no, um, um, no bearings on me serving your hood. That's just a situation that happened. I'm not going to take that away on him. Of course it's going to come and it's going to challenge what I believe. Naturally, because that's going to be a test to see, do you really believe what you believe? When tribulation, persecution come, will you still stand? And a lot of us, when they do, we can't take it. We good when nothing happening. When something happens, ah, ain't nothing right. Who know what's the purpose of anything? Who know where we're going? <clears throat> but when everything good, I believe everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Come on, finish up what you got, Chris, so we can move on. Yes, sir. Listen. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received. That what happened? How that Mashiach died for our sins. How? According to the scriptures. According to the scriptures. And then the Christian, now ask the Christian to explain you how did he die on Friday. Good Friday and got up Sunday and they got three days and three nights. <laughs> Let's see what happened in Matayahu right quick. <laughs> That's just, just simple. They do, the, they do the same stupid shit every year. That's right. <laughs> same stupid shit every day. Can't That's right. It can't help it. Matayahu. I ain't got a brain yet. Ain't got it yet. Chapter 12. Say that about verse 37 for me. Listen to the book. Oh, when you don't give me Barashit, they're going to call it Genesis. Uh, we'll start one and one. 
Listen to this is Matthew. They call Matthew chapter 12, verse 37. And he'll give me Barashit chapter 1, verse 1. Listen to the book. For by thy Dabarim thou shalt be justified, mm -hmm. and by thy Dabarim thou shalt be condemned. Yeah. Then certain of the scribes and of the Pharisees answered, saying, Adani, we would see a sign from thee. But he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation seek after a sign. You hear what he just told them? Now see, that's what people don't know. If you seek a sign, you evil. Listen what he told them. An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, yeah. and there shall no sign be given to it, yeah. but the sign of the Nabah, Yuna. He, he would not tell you that everybody who was looking at a sign were evil. He was talking about people that are evil. They try to look, they try to inquire about it. And he was trying to tell them, and they're not going to get it. But this one, you got to get it. Tell them what the sign is. For as Yuna was three Yamim and three nights in the well. Pay attention belly. now. He was three days and three nights. Where was he at? In the well's belly. So tell me about you. So shall the men of each be three Yamim and three nights in the heart of the Arats. Now he's going to be three days and three nights in the hearts of the earth. Christian. <laughs> You don't explain me how he died on Good Friday and got up early, early Sunday morning. <laughs> this just simple. This right here shoots your whole religion in the air. Yep. Yep. Your teaching, he died Friday and got up, not just Sunday, early Sunday morning. Simple man. And they too scared to deal with reality. You know yep. what? He do mysterious things. <laughs> he ain't doing that outside of what he told you. That's right. That's right. Because now we're talking about being saved. According as it is written. Now what's been written is that the man told us he was going to be three days and three nights. So you're telling me he died Friday morning. Good Friday. And then the man got up early Sunday morning. Well, let's try your mail. Good Friday, he died. They gave him Friday, Friday night. Sad day, they have an old folk called sad, sad day. day. Sad day, sad night. We good right here? Yeah. Got up when? Early. Early. When he got up? Early. When he got up? Early. When? Sunday morning. Give me three days and three nights now. <clears throat> Their whole religion cross threaded. Yep. All of, do, do you understand that you believe in something different than what he said <laughs> has bearings on you being saved? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, I don't care if it don't count, don't add up. I still believe it. But the problem is, you don't believe because of the scripture. Mm -hmm. You don't have anything to defend what you believe. Which means now, you don't have a mana. That's right. And you couldn't possibly be saying a mana. That's right. You can't confirm it. Simply that is, this, now, you can't be saved. Can't be. The man just said about which also you'll say if you keep in memory what I preached Preach unto you. Me. What was the first thing he told me? Tell me the first thing he said again in 1 Corinthians 15 and 3. Yes, sir. I just want to know the first thing he said he gave me. The first thing he said he gave me. Yes, sir. Let me see what he gave me. What was it? For I delivered unto you first of you all. First, so first means it got to be a second. Because if it won, you could just say only. Yes, sir. You know what Allahim didn't tell you? He was the first Allahim. Hmm. Hmm. He the only one. Yes, sir. That's right. What makes sense, but ain't none coming out to me. That's right. He could tell Yahushua that he was his first Allah, he, his first Bene. You know why? Because yeah, I'm going to get some more. That's right. They ain't got common sense. Yep. He will never told you I'm no first Allahim on them. Not for you, because you know what? Ain't nobody coming out to me. That's right. When he did tell you the first, he told you too, I'm the last. Because mm -hmm. I want you to ever get confused to think something coming out to me. When nothing before I got him, I ain't going to be nothing when I'm gone. That's right. Just so you can understand it, he gave you Melchizedek. Yeah. You don't know when he came on the scene, and you don't know when he left. He said, I just got to let you know, ain't no another one. Listen to the book. 
For I well, delivered unto you what? First of all, how? that which I also received. This is the first thing he got. Tell him what happened. How that Mashiach died for our sins. That when you, now you start running and shouting. Tearing your clothes or getting mustard, rolling the floor, shooting them on y'all. Get me 55 ushers so I can get that fat woman out between these pews. <laughs> How did he die? According to the scriptures. And what happened, Brandon, at 1237? Of uh, Matiyahu? For by thy Dabarim thou shalt be justified. So that how I'm be justified. I know what I'm speaking. That how I'm be justified. What up? And by thy Dabarim thou shalt be condemned. And that same thing gonna condemn you now. Listen. <clears throat> then certain of the scribes and of the Pharisees answered, saying, What did they need, say? We would see a sign from we, thee. We need to see a sign. We need to see we need to see a sign from you. What happened? But he answered and said unto them, What happened? An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign. And what did he tell them? And there shall no sign be given to it. Except what? But the sign of the Nabah Yuna. Like what? For as Yuna was three Yamim and three nights in the well's belly. What happened? So shall the Ben of Ish be three Yamim and three nights in the heart of the Arats. What else happened, Brandon? The Anashim of Nineveh shall rise in judgment with this generation and shall condemn it. I wonder why that the first thing he told when they were looking for a sign. Shaul said the first thing he told him. Mm -hmm. How did he die? And then he rose again on the third year, according to the scripture. Yes, sir. They just asked for, they just show us a sign. Why he start there? How many signs the man did when he was him? Mm. Hold you, let's see something. See that the 20th chapter, 20th chapter book of Yeukana. That's right. Yeukana chapter 20. Twenty, eh, give me twenty, twenty-six. <clears throat> Listen to the book. And after eight Yamim again, his Methetus were within, and Thomas with him. Then came Yahusha, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Shalom be unto you. Then said he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side. And do what? And be not faithless. See that? And make sure you got a mana. What happened? But believing. So you're going to have to believe. See, that's how important it is. You got to believe. He was stuck in hand and believe. It ain't going to help you. This is what happened. And Thomas answered and said unto him. What did he say? My Adani. And? My Allahim. That's beautiful. Yes, sir. That's beautiful. So you got to think about who else we knew had a wound on their side like that. Oh, don't. Mm -hmm. You ain't going to believe who he was. No, that he was all of him. That's right. He opened up his side too. That's right. And he told you what he did. He said he took the woman out. Yes, sir. So you know he reached his hand in and took him out. I don't know what y'all were thinking. This man here was known as the second Adam. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> second because somebody came before. Only when you get two, you got to have one. That's right. Not possible to get two if you don't have one. You can't jump on and be number two if there ain't no number one. Huh? Don't it make sense? So that's the same thing had to happen here. That's why he was able to do it. He, that's who he was. He was Allahim. He told him, let him make him our own image. Yes, sir. After our likeness. Yes, sir. And let him have. Yes, sir. Who else was he? Listen to the book. Let's see how they work for it. Listen. Yahushua saith unto him. Tell him what he told him. Thomas, believe. Be Listen. Because thou hast seen me. And what happened? Thou hast believed it. Listen, what happened? Baraka are they. They did what? Have not seen. And yet what? Yet have believed. That's what I do. I went in there and I believe it. You ain't going to believe it. Why? Because it's written. Yes, sir. That's how I know what happened. Come on. That's why I know what happened. Let's see what happened. Pick me up and see about a sheet right quick before I move over him. <clears throat> about a sheet. Chapter 2 at verse 18. Make it Barashit sheet 126 first. Then jump over. Because I'm jumping to the two. They're going to say he said I had to have a one first. See, he let me know I got hypocrites out there. That's right. My enemy is out there now. You know how much my enemy hate me? Hell, they'll sit up and watch me for two to three hours. <laughs> That's right. Everybody I hate, I do that. I watch me two to three hours a day. Minimal. <laughs> Goodness. That's how stupid they are. They don't even know they love me to death. That's right. Ain't no way where I sit and watch nobody. Ain't no way I can watch. I can't stomach 10 minutes of fall private. That's right. I throw up in my own mouth. That's right. I don't know how they do it. I can't be fall. Now that you watch me. That's right. Truest thing they ever seen. Yeah. Sure, if folk can't preach tomorrow, they watch me. <laughs> that last thing got to be, Tim, you don't want to know what they say about you in your eyes. They hold the whole media step. Bitch, you done. 
These folk count on this, man. How are they going to get a message? Listen to the book. And Allahim said, let us make man in our image and? after our likeness. And what happened? And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea uh -huh. and over the fowl of the air. And what else? And over the cattle and over all the arats and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the arats. Tell them what happened. So Allahim created man in his own image. Listen what he did. In the image of Allahim created he him. Male. And female created he them. At verse chapter 2, at, I'm sorry, chapter 2 at verse 17. Barashit, that they're going to call Genesis. Remember the word is Barashit. means in the beginning. Listen. But of the tree of the knowledge of Taub and Rasha, thou shalt not eat of it. Yeah. For in the yum that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Listen. And Yahuwah Elohim said, it is not Taub that they should be alone. Tell me what happened. I will make him and help meet for him. Yeah. And out of the ground, Yahuwah Elohim formed every beast of the field and every fowl of the air and brought them unto Adam to see what he would call them. Y'all see that? That's what he did. He brought them to him to see what he would call them. That's why everybody was there when he was up on the two. When he was on the cross, all reading the people there so he could look at them and see what he going to call them. Because they too dumb, they wouldn't even know that. Listen. And whatsoever Adam called every living creature, Tell what that was the name thereof. That's what he did. When he seen Shimon, he told him, he said, your name Cough. Name him a rock. That's what he was naming people. That's what he do. You can't tell mama name you. They say, your name going to be cough. They put Cephas. The name is cough. Listen. And Adam gave names to all cattle uh -huh. and to the fowl of the air and to every beast of the field. But for Adam, there was not found in help meat for him. What happened? And Yahuwah Elohim caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam. So tell him what he did. He died. And tell him what happened. And he slept. And he slept. He died. Listen what happened. And he took one of his ribs uh -huh. and closed up the flesh instead thereof. So let me ask you a question. How did he take the rib? He had to reach in the hand, he had to reach inside it and take it out. He took it from him. All right. When Thomas was doing it, y'all do know he had already died. Yeah. Listen what happened. And the rib which Yahuwah Elohim had taken from Ish, what did he do? Made he an Asha. What did he do? And he brought her unto Adam. And what happened? And Adam said, This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. Yeah. She shall be called Asha. Listen. Because she was taken out of Ish. Mm -hmm. Therefore shall an Ish leave his Abba and his aim and shall cleave unto his Asha. Yeah. And they shall be one flesh. Mm -hmm. And they were both naked, the Ish and his Asha, and were not ashamed. That's what I'm talking about. Come on, jump back <laughs> on the 20th chapter of the book. The 20th chapter of the book of Yehukanah. The 20th chapter, what they're going to call John, Yehukanah chapter 20. What we love about 26, 27? Verse 30. Verse 30. Yes, sir. All right, 20 and 30. Listen to the book. And many other signs, Ahmad did Yehusha in his presence of his Methodist. Yeah, I hear that. Now, many other signs that he do in the presence of his Methodist. Tell me what happened, Chris. Which are not written in this shafar. Tell, tell me what happened. But these are written. You said, but what happened but to these? But these are written. But these are what? Written. For what reason? That ye might believe. That makes sense what he told them. Mm -hmm. yeah. He said, everything I done lived with you, it's what's written. Yes, sir. You know how much stuff Christian believe, the other religion believe, none of the denomination ain't even written. So it makes no sense for you to believe it. You can't be saved by it. Made sense when he partnered, they said, listen, show us a sign so we can believe. You see, you're evil and rotten. No sign going to be shown unto you. I tell you what, this one I give you. The first thing the cuff say, show him. When he appeared on the cuff and cuff fell off the, fell off the, uh, the horse, or whatever, fell off his beast. Or his, I don't know. They show you beast count. No, it fell off from his beast or what they actually tell you. Mm -hmm. But he fell from his beast. We just knew that he had a conversation, told what his name was, and told him to go on down the straight street. That's right. That's right. When cuff told her what happened, he said the first thing the man gave him was showing her how he had died and rose again according to the scripture. We would have never known that he would have told us. We just thought he would ride. The bright light came, bright light came above the sun. He fell, from the, fell to the arach, the earth, or you want to call it ground, Adama, whatever you want to call it. He said that he fell to the ground. He asked him the name. He changed the name and told him who he was, and that was it. He went on down there. He seen Ananias. He said the first thing the man gave him, how he, wrote, how he died and rose again, according to the scripture. Yes, sir. Then when they asked for a sign, that's the same thing he gave them. This is a basic principle thing that ever, even. Anybody should know they're saying they believe they're going to be saved. 
So how you going along with he died good Friday and got up early Sunday morning? You let somebody tell you some stupid stuff like that. You know you can't count. <clears throat> That's he ain't right. got no benefit getting paid. That's right. Too stupid. Friday, Sunday morning early, and you keep reading the man. I ain't even putting this in here. This is in your book that been transgendered. And you ain't got enough sense to think. This just show you how dangerous it is to be a Christian. It's dangerous to be a Christian. Because you not you don't have a will to think. There's no way to be, you ain't even trying to be saved. When you're sitting here, this should be questionable. This shouldn't be, it's a mystery. It doesn't make sense. This is not a mystery. The man that made it open. Oh, let's see 1626. Who know what I want? Roman. There you go. Roman 1620. Make it 1624. Let's shoot me in the foot. Every Christian that no toes. And you know what's scary? That, that, and, and when I say Christian, ain't just a non-denomination, any religion. A non-denomination is still a Christian because they still believe Jesus. They still believe the same premise holds. The whole thing we got to look at, if it's book, that's the demand. That's the decree for us. Once we learn better, we translate, we transform, we do better. We don't keep holding to something saying, well, I don't know what it is, but it don't matter. I, what I believe is still right. What I believe becomes questionable now. It's got to be corrected. That's what the scripture was. All scripture given by the inspiration of who? Amen. And it's profitable for what? Doctrine. So what we teaching? Doctrine. Doctrine. Scripture. And what is it used for? Correction. For reproof. Then for correction. That's why you have to keep going through because there's some things you're going to find you're doing. There's some things you're going to find you're believing that's got to come along. It's got to be culture. It's got to be nurtured. It's got to be changed. got to reposition. That's why we had to go back through the scripture. Right. It's dangerous to read and put it down and say, I'm done with it. I got all I need. That's dangerous. You got to constantly keep going because it's going to be constant correction, constant change because you're looking to grow. Yeah. Listen to the book. The Khan of our Adani, Yahushua HaMashiach, be with you all, Aman. Now to him that is of power to establish you according to my debar. See, according to what I said. And what else? And the preaching of Yahushua HaMashiach. Listen. According to the kazun of the mystery which uh -oh. was kept secret. Y'all hear that? According to the kazun of what was it? The mystery. Mystery, hidden truth. What was it? It been kept secret, Leon. Nobody knew what it was. Been kept secret. Listen what happened. Since the Arats began. And what happened, Brandon? But now. What is now? So you can't keep using that shit then. Don't nobody know. You can't keep using that. He said it was kept secret since by the sheet. But now through the preacher of Yahushua HaMashiach, this is what happened. Is made manifest. Made known, shown. Tell them how, Brandon. And by the scriptures uh -oh. of the Nabi'im. Shoot him in the foot again. And he got a pinky toe. See, you want to believe, it's easy to believe that. It's just, we don't know. It, we don't know. Everything you don't know, he kept for himself. The stuff that you sit around, you tell me you don't know, you should know it because the books that told it up been made manifest now. And by the scripture, listen to how he did it. And by the scriptures of the Nabi'im, listen, according to the commandment of the everlasting Allahim, he Amar, he commanded that it be made known. He commanded, he demanded that Everybody that's going to believe him should know this. Yes, sir. He demanded no man, no one should walk around and come up with early Friday morning, early Sunday morning, three days, three nights. Second Corinthians 4 and 3. Man, I did all these signs and wonder. Can't even listen. One even written. Yehugunah declared the 21st chapter, if all of them were written, the Arach couldn't even contain it. But amazingly, the first one he gave her is the one they mess up on the most. Yep. Friday morning, early Sunday morning. Three days and three nights. Start high, another lie. A damn rabbit sitting on eggs. A rabbit is a lie barrel. What the hell? Chicken sitting up, pop, 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 come straight at that. Chicken laying eggs. Rabbit lady. <laughs> they go around getting Easter eggs. Yeah. They dumb ass don't even know this is an idol god that you're playing with. That's right. You're playing with a Hindu god. That's right. Easter is Hindu. That's how dumb. A Christian don't even know. Holy is Hindu. And they walk around talking about I'm holy with a holy book. And you ain't here damn serving Hindu. Yeah. Doing yoga. We all been there. Yeah. 
Hell, I used to get them. We had a plastic egg and put $5 out of here. I want that egg, so I ain't never find it. <laughs> they take my little cousin, walk her ass, and her clumsy ass couldn't find the egg. The egg right ass couldn't get it. <laughs> I was like, I'll just run there and pick that damn egg up now. Yep. $5 back then, woo, what you can do with $5? Yes, sir. Hey, you planting hunting eggs, telling lies. Look what they give you. Yellow, pink, purple, lavender, all them light colors. You know why? Because during that Hindu religion, they start spewing all those colors out, all of those rainbow-looking colors. They spew them out for Easter. They're getting ready to observe. These, these dumb people don't know what they're doing. They have no idea. That has nothing to do with our religion. This is a Hindu practice religion. Yeah. And they ain't got enough sense to go back and research none of this stuff. Holy comes from H-O-L-I, and they don't want to know. Because it's too late. They, they hold it, mama hold it, dad hold it, preacher hold it. Yeah. All they did was just change the word. Look it up. They, ain't, they, ain't gonna, they too dumb. They don't want to look it up. They don't want to see the word. Nobody ever. The, the word is not even written. The word is kudash. But they don't care. Nope. Been doing it too long. I don't want my grandma to go to hell. I guarantee what I don't want is going to change them from going to hell. That's right. That's right. What I want ain't going to change them from going to hell. It's going to be what's in this book. That's right. That's what we got to consider. That's how dangerous it is to become a Christian or to sit down and read and you sit here saying nobody don't know. When the man just told you he agreed, it was kept secret. But he said now it's been, by the command, it's been made manifest. It don't make sense that I should still be counting Friday to Sunday come up with three days and no three nights. This doesn't make sense. <clears throat> Let's see what happened at Barashit. Barashit chapter one. I tell him give me one and one. Other one, see that um, you Uyakra, they're going to call it Leviticus. It means, and he called. Leviticus. That's what that don't mean. Shit. Greek stuff. That's right. Now, what is a Leviticus? Tell me about something. See, a Leviticus is the pre. You was a retard. The man never even used the word. The man, Uyakra mean, and he called. They admit, they'll say him, that's how they play with it. Just think about how dang that. We're going to call this book Leviticus. For what reason? Who name was Le Leviti? Hey, you do better just putting Levi's up there. That's right. They ain't nothing but a pair of jeans. The tribe name is Louis. They messed us up. They messed us up. You know what? It ain't dangerous for white people to believe it. It's their own creation. Right. Everybody made a God believe in their God. Right. We didn't make ours. Our Allahim made up. The book told us, know ye that Allahim, know ye that Yahuwah, he is Allahim. It is he that had made us and not we. We ourselves. You know what's sad about them? They made their God. Yep. That's how you know ain't nothing to them. Hell, why I'm trusting something I made in? To deliver me? <clears throat> to heal me? Not nothing I made. I'm trusting who made me. That's the only difference between us and them. Everybody got a God. Everyone need religion. Everyone need people got a God. Say a party that they made their God up. Their God got a start date. With me, he got an ending coming to him. Yes, sir. We find ours over here at Barashit. When it tells us in the beginning, he let us know, that's your time, not mine. That's right. If I told you when I got him, you couldn't mathematically figure it out. That's right. Every number we got start with one. Mm -hmm. Everything with a zero in front, we say it don't even count. I don't care how many numbers you put behind it. Correct? That's right. He said, you don't even want to know what my time is. Your one day, my one day is a thousand years. Yours is a 24-hour clock. That's questionable. That might be 23 and some change. There's so much going on. We just... It, again, you got to look at the people who delivered you what you believe. There's no consistency. Christianity is a religion these people are made up to make a fool out of. Her. It keeps you oppressed. It keeps you enslaved. It doesn't allow you to think. When you read and that's what you see, that's all it is. There are a Christian that told everything you need is right here in the Bible. Everything he ever said is right there. Then they read it and the man told you it's some stuff he did ain't in there. And that before this book you got. Don't worry about it. If you can live with it, I can live with it. But it ain't right. That's right. At the end of the day, you got to think about this. Are you willing to doubt what you believe? You willing to chance on what you believe? All right. Come on. Let's finish up what we got. 
What got you holding? Uh, Bear Sheet. Bear Sheet 1 and 1. Other one got me Uyakra chapter 23. Listen to the book. In the beginning, Elohim created the Shamayim and the Arats. Yeah. And the Arats was without form and void, and Kashak was upon the Panim of the deep. What happened? And the Ruach of Elohim moved. So what was it, y'all? He said Kashak. What was it? Dark. Dark. Tell him what happened, Chris. And the Ruach of Elohim moved upon the Panim of the Mayim. And Elohim said, let there be our order. Which is light. Let there be light. And tell him what happened, Chris. And there was our order. Bless him. And Elohim saw the our order, that it was Ta'u. And tell him what happened. And Elohim divided the our order from the Kashak. And what happened. And Elohim called the our order Yum, and the Kashak he called Layla. Listen. In the evening and the morning were the first Yum. What happened. And Elohim said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the Mayim. Yeah. And let it divide the Mayim from the Mayim. So he just called for the dry ground to come up and separate the waters. Listen. And Elohim made the firmament and divided the Mayim. What was he trying to tell us? He let us know that some were going to arrive that were going to separate the people. Yeah. This is not actually the story of what you think it is. There's also another. We're dealing with still allegories. Yeah. Because this allegory is trying to tell what was going to happen. That's right. That something was going to come up in the midst of us and we're going to divide. The Mayim actually referring to the people. People, that's right. It was telling you that all the people were together. Yes, sir. That something arose up from him and caused us to be divided. That's right. To be divided. That's right. That's why you got all these different bodies of what they call water. That's right. And you know what separate them? The land. Land. But they're not smart enough to catch that. This is called an allegory for you. Listen. And Elohim made the firmament and divided the Mayim, which were under the firmament, from the Mayim, which were above the firmament. Yeah. And it was so. Listen. And Elohim called the firmament Sh Shamayim. Yeah. And the evening and the morning were Shani Yum. And Elohim said, let the Mayim under the Shamayim be gathered together unto one place. Yeah. And let the dry land appear. And it was so. And Elohim called the dry land Arat. Yeah. And gathered. And the gathering together of the Mayim called he sees, and Elohim saw that it was Ta'u. What happened? And Elohim said, let the rocks bring forth grass, and the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind. Where is the seed at? Whose seed is in itself. Listen. Upon the rocks. Come on. And it was so. And the rocks brought forth grass and herb yielding seed That's after his kind. That's the same thing they're trying to tell us. <clears throat> the man got the seed. And he put the seed in the woman. And he pulled a brain back. He pulled the rib. That's why he told us about train up a child in the way it should go. So in old, it won't depart. So you know what amazing is? Every one of those trees we saw are allegories. The first apple tree that we ever created that we put down kept demonstrating the same thing that came up. Everyone followed the same pattern. The first elephant that came on the scene, same pattern. The only way anything happened, something had to come and cross gender. Everything from what started in Barashi, when it created, it kept the same behavior. The Shamash didn't never change size or, or diminish from what it does. The Yari didn't never change, not the Kukubin, what they call the stars. Everything is still emulating the same thing that was there. They tell us that a so-called star, Kukubin, for stars, has about a 100-year lifespan. That's what they give it, about a 100-year lifespan. And after that, it burns out of that and another replace it. You ain't going to believe all of them come along and simulate the same thing. They all demonstrate the same behavior. Nothing's gotten out of character but us. That was the importance of him teaching us as well about us cross-generating other people. Because he was letting you know everything you need is in yourself. And you can create the same thing that can demonstrate the same thing you have from Barashit. Unless you start cross-generating and mingling. Unless you don't believe it in vain. Yeah. Everything else did it. And he saw it. He said, it's Ta'u. Everything was doing what it was supposed to do. Listen to the book. And the rocks brought forth grass and herb yielding seed after his kind. Whose what? And the tree yielding fruit whose seed was in itself. Listen. After his kind. Yeah. And Elohim saw that it was Ta'u. Tell him what happened. In the evening and the morning were the Shalishiyun. Which is the third day. That's good. Give me Uyakra. They call it Leviticus. Uyakra, it means, and he called. And he called. Which makes sense for us. Mm -hmm. 
Book tell us that Allahim did not call us under uncleanness, but under Kudash. Uyakra. That's amazing. Now that right, he and he called. That's what it means. Leviticus means nothing. That's just how white people play. You, do you understand these people play with you? They give you holy on the front of your book, which is Hindu. They give you Hindu worshiping practice. Then they give you a Latin God, a Latin Savior. Then they give you a Greek God. What are you trying to do to me? What are you trying to do to me? It's, it's, and then you know that book told her what he ain't the author of? Confusion. So he let you know when you find all this cross gendering going on in your book, I had nothing to do with it. Because I'm not the author. An author is somebody responsible for something. I'm not responsible for your confusion. I'm responsible for a shalom. Yep. <clears throat> yes, as sir. in all the congregation. So your church got to be in confusion. That's right. Because guess why? He ain't responsible for no church. That's right. That's your jump. Yep. Got to have shalom. Yeah. All right. Listen to the book. And you were speaking to Mashah, saying, What did he tell him? Speak unto the Bani of Yasharal. He told him, Speak to the children of Yasharal. And say unto them, Tell them what? Concerning the Muadi of Yahuwah. Concerning the feast of Yahuwah. Tell me about them, Brandon. Which ye shall proclaim to be Kudash convocations. Listen. Even these are mine, Muadi. So these are mine. We should hear Sunday. Come on. Six Yamim shall work be done. Six. Six days shall work be done. Six of them. Tell them what you want me to do. But the seventh Yum is the Shabbat of rest. What day the seventh day? How a Christian turn Sunday to the seventh day? When every fool knows that Sunday is the first day of the week. Yep. The man just told me sick. That means I'm supposed to be working Sunday. Yeah. Shabbat, I'm supposed to not be working. He said the seventh is what is it? Is the Shabbat of rest. He said the Shabbat of rest. Tell me what happened, Brandon. A Kudash convocation. That's Kudash. Well, so what is Sunday? The other one? Listen. Ye shall do no work therein. Yeah. It is the Shabbat of Yahuwah in all your dwellings. I got to go in next Saturday. They want me to come in and do some stuff. They got to get cleaned up. Because it's the last day. Saturday, this Saturday, every other Saturday, it falls when we got inventory and I'm supposed to go in and try to get. Then I, ain't, I don't believe. I don't believe. The man just told me six years. I mean, I'm supposed to work. He said the seventh is the Shabbat. He told me I ain't supposed to do no rest. Tell me what happened, Brandon. These are the Muadi of Yahuwah. He said these are, that's a feast. That's why we be eating, we get us a feast. It's rest. Listen. Even Kadash convocations, which ye shall proclaim in their seasons. Listen. In the 14th yum of the first month at even is Yahuwah's Pesach. Yeah. And on the 15th yum of the same month is the Muadi of Matsut bread yeah. unto Yahuwah. Yeah. Seven Yami must ye eat Matsut bread. In the first yum ye shall have a Kadash convocation. Yeah. Ye shall do no servile work therein. But ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah, seven Yamin. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Because now I, I just want to try to figure out something. Jump down and see about the 16th verse of that same book. Let me just see something. Did y'all hear him tell him about the Shabbat? Y'all heard him? He talking about his Muhadis. We got seven months we supposed to keep for uh, Matsut bread. They told him about Pasal. Y'all heard him? Y'all didn't hear that. Let's see what happened. 16th verse. Listen. Even unto the morrow, after the seventh Shabbat, shall ye number fifty yamin. Well, I'm down too far then. Bad me. What verse that is? I was at 16. Bad me up at 9. Listen. And you were speaking to Moshe, saying, What are you telling them? Speak unto the Bani of Yashorol, and, what, what and say them? unto them, What? When you be come into the land, mm -hmm. which I give unto you, mm -hmm. and shall reap the harvest thereof, mm -hmm. then ye shall bring a sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest unto the Kohan. Bring it, about, bring it up to 6. Let me see. And on the 15th yum of the same month is the Muadi of Matsut bread unto Yahuwah. Mm -hmm. Seven Yamim, ye must eat Matsut bread. In the first yum, ye shall have a Kudash convocation. Ye shall do no servile work therein. Mm -hmm. But ye shall offer an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah, seven Yamim. Yes. In the seventh yum is a Kudash convocation. Ye shall do no servile work therein. Mm -hmm. And Yahuwah spake unto Masha, saying, Speak unto the Bani of Yasharal and say unto them, yes. When ye be come into the land, which I give unto you, yeah. and shall reap the harvest thereof, mm -hmm. then ye shall bring a sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest unto the Kahan. Yes. And he shall wave the sheaf before Yahuwah to be accepted for you. On the morrow after the Shabbat, the Kahan shall wave it. Listen. And ye shall offer that yum when ye wave the sheaf and he lamb without blemish of the first year for a burnt offering unto Yahuwah. Yes. And the meat offering thereof shall be two tenth deals of fine flour mingled with oil, mm -hmm. an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah for a sweet savor. Yeah. 
and the drink offering thereof shall be of wine, the fourth part of an hen. And ye shall eat neither bread, nor parched corn, nor green ears, until the selfsame yum that ye have brought an offering unto your Allahim. Yeah. It shall be a statute forever throughout your generations and all your dwellings. Yes. And ye shall count unto you from the morrow after the Shabbat, from the yum that ye brought the sheaf of the wave offering, seven Shabbat shall be complete. Even unto the morrow after the seventh Shabbat shall ye number fifty yamin. Yeah. And ye shall offer a new meat offering unto Yahuwah. Ye shall bring out of your habitations two wave loaves of two tenth deals. They shall be of fine flour. They shall be taken with leaven. They are the first fruits unto Yahuwah. Yes. And ye shall offer with the bread seven lambs without blemish of the first year. You should give me about um, the kafar. What verse I want? 26. What verse you at now? You want 27? Yeah, 26. 26. Go ahead. Listen. And Yahuwah spake unto Mashah, saying, Also on the tenth yom of this seventh month. Pay attention. Also on the tenth yom of this seventh month. What you want me to do? There shall be a yom of kafar. Kafar. That's right there what they call atonement. Kafar. Listen what happened. It shall be a kadash convocation unto you. Y'all hear that? That's going to be a kadash convocation unto you. Listen. And ye shall afflict your souls. How? Come on. And offer an offering made by fire unto Yahuwah. Listen. And ye shall do no work in that same yum. Listen. For it is a yum of kafar. Y'all hear what he's telling y'all? Listen. To make kafar for you before Yahuwah, your Allah. To make atonement for you before Allah. Listen. For whatsoever soul it be that shall not be afflicted in tell, that same yum, tell him what happened, he shall be cut off from among his arms. Listen. And whatsoever soul when it be. When he said in that same yum, y'all heard that? Listen. And whatsoever soul it be that doeth any work in that same yum, tell him what happened, brother. The same soul will I destroy from among his own. Y'all hear that? Anybody doing any work that same yum? He say gonna be cut off. Listen. Ye shall do no manner of work. No manner of work. It Come shall on. be a statute forever throughout your generation. Forever your throughout dwellings. your generation. Listen. It shall be unto you a Shabbat of rest. Listen. And ye shall afflict your souls in the ninth yum of the month at even. Y'all hear what he even just told y'all? From what, Brandon? In the ninth day of the month at even, from yes. even unto even, yeah. shall ye celebrate your Shabbat. You know why he told you that? Because he realized, I've been telling you a whole lot of stuff you're supposed to do, but you don't know how to keep time. The ninth day meaning when the sun set on the ninth day, that's the start of the tenth day. Because I just told you if I catch you working, I'm going to kill you. But if you keep time like these cracker teach you, time starts from 12 o'clock, midnight. To 12 o'clock midnight over. And some of these people, the way they keep it, they don't count the Shabbat, the seven day event, don't count it till in the morning. When the sun come up, they say that's the start of it. Sun go down, that's the end of it. Because they're ignorant. That's why I took you to buy a sheet. I know I took you all over the place. Because I want you to watch how he kept time. When everything started, he came, he told you it was dark. When he made the light, then after the light went away, he told you that's the completion of one you, yep. which makes no damn sense that you would count Friday and early Sunday morning as three days and three nights. Because he just thought when we went through all he would tell us about with keeping Shabbat. Yep. So the question is, when does it start? That's why you had to keep reading because he let you know it starts when the sun set right. of the day coming of the day that end before it comes in yep. that night. That night. That's why he told you he came back and told him that same night in which he was betrayed. Because it started the day. I know we were just reading and going. on. y'all said, goodness, what you doing? Because all that went through. Because you know what happened? A Christian would have been stopped. Yep. Yep. They gave in their mind, start that morning. Hell, they ain't got no sense. They don't call Sunday the Sabbath. Hell, they don't keep it till the sun come up. That's how ignorant they is here. They'll part all that night. They'll tell us church time and start Sunday morning because they're stupid. Our time starts from evening to evening. I'm keeping book time. That's why he told you if he's going to be in the heart of the right, I got to make sure you know how to keep time. It's got to be night, day, night, day. It's got to come out three. With them, it's all a mystery. Now, how much mystery you just heard? He just told you how it would matter. And how did I just show it to you? According to his commandment, how was I supposed to show it to you? According to the scripture. If it was hid before, it ain't got no business being hid now. 
even when I just think about how much I've been delusional by these lying ass preachers. That's right. Cheap ass pimp preaching preachers. Mm -hmm. Child molesting, whole mugging preachers. That's right. Pastor still say. Mm. Second Corinthians. <clears throat> Four and one. Whew. That's a lot of work. A lot of work. This is the danger of detriment. This is the first round. This destroy every Christian church. Because every Christian church got the same premise. Yeah. Yeah. They still can't figure out three days and three nights. They're not possible because you know what? They don't want to know. They don't want to know. Because responsibility come in. Because once you learn how to start counting, then you got to go back and say, if that's what he started, you had to go back to borrow a sheet to find that. Now you got to go back and look at what else did he commit. That's right. That's right. That's but right. now you got to start looking at what day he told you to keep. Yep. That's right. So at best to start, your religion is a lie, at best to keep a lie. Yep. You bring one truth in, it's going to mess up all your other lies. Mess it that's up. why they get you who saw the same. Too that's many right. lies get exposed. That's right. Uh, listen to the book. Therefore, seeing we have this ministry. Manifest. As we have done what? Received mercy. We do what? Faint not. No, I ain't quit. What we do? But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. I quit that lying and smoking and drinking and whole mugging. I had time for that stuff. Now, renounce. That's what he said. We resign. We quit. Your preacher ain't going to stop. Mm. Now, I ain't going to stay on with the Jesus lie. Jesus was good enough for his grandmama. It was good for it. He is good enough, good enough to carry everybody to hell. That's right. <clears throat> Don't make no sense to keep going with that wrong. Man, well, people, I want to believe was saved that did. I want to believe people had a chance. I did. Because I want a chance for myself. That's right. I still want a chance. That's right. That's why I'm here. Yes, sir. But I got to go with what's the truth, though. Yes, sir. It's unfortunate people make a mind and have a heart. They don't want to take it. But at the end of the day, I got a mind. I want to take it. Yes, sir. Huh? No matter what it hurt, who it cut off, and who I had to separate from, at the end of the day, I didn't come here to see if I can go to hell for the sake of hoping somebody else can hold on. I just know he gave me a chance for me to make it in. Yes. I'm not going to mess that big lead. said, I'm going to make this one count. That's right. I don't want to love nobody and nothing where I'm going to hold on to it. I'm going to mess up and miss out because it's some other people I don't want to see go to hell. That's right. I've met some people like that. I had a young lady went here years ago. That's for a lot of y'all. Came a whole lot smaller. And she was nice looking. I'd have got married. I'd have got her married by now, by then. But uh, she heard me preaching, cutting down on adultery. She came and she said, So people in adultery die going to hell? I like, yeah. And her daddy had remarried. And her brother was finna get married to this girl. He had been married before. She said, My brother gonna go to hell? I said, He died and he gonna go to hell. She said, But my whole family love her. I said, well, if she dies, I said, he dying, she going mm -hmm. to hell. Man, that girl got so distraught, she said, I can't go here no more. She said, from what you, she said, my family going to hell. I said, they don't repent. She said, how am I going to sit here and my family going to hell? And she went right out there and went to hell with them. Yeah. I can't put my life on nobody else. People make choices. Yeah. You know what we tend to do for the average of us? We sit and we don't consider, what is it about you that nobody else got an opportunity to chance to hear? Mm -hmm. Nothing. You can't fly. You ain't the fastest person. You damn sure ain't the smartest. And you ain't the best look. That's any of us when I say it. I say that's all of us. So which meaning, he gives the opportunity for people to hear. It's just what people choose to do when they Come hear. on. Come on. Listen, what about a bigger lover of Jesus than I was? I loved him too. Hell, how many of y'all you love him? Ain't like I started, I ain't never heard him. Hell, I loved him. <clears throat> Sung about him. Prayed to him. Worship it. What I been like? I'd have took a bullet from him. Damn sure glad nobody wasn't shooting. <laughs> but I would have because I truly believed. But once your eyes become illuminated to the truth, you can't keep staying with no lie. That's right. They keep telling me, well, it's just a matter of what we call and then what. But if what you call me, you go back to the language and discipline other people and find out what the word means from their language. Well, I don't care what. what but that's where I got it from. That's right. <laughs> It is not an English word. You got a word that came from Latin. And you look at what is the Latin definition of what you're taking. It's dangerous. <clears throat> it's just dangerous. It's dangerous. It's dangerous that you just sit around and you convince yourself that nothing don't matter because you've been believing in something. So that's the same way these crackers do. Yep. These crackers don't want to accept no truth. They don't. I watched the news this morning. They tell my Farrakhan, hate race beta. 
hater, and he sits around and talking about what should happen to white people. What about these crackers talking about what should happen to us? That's right. That's right. Cut, other than his rotten ass religion, he ain't no worse than the rest of these crackers. That's right. He ain't no worse than the rest of these crackers. Anybody black say something about freeing and liberating our people, they try to like they the worst terrorists on. All these crackers terrorists. That's right. They sit around and know what they're doing to us, and hell, they don't care. One black man step and say something about when that man done tried to run a march or revolt or everybody going and killing white people. Never. I ain't never heard Farrell Clinton say that. I ain't gonna lie on the man now. Mm -mm. Hell, he wouldn't be successful anyway. Nope. Anytime somebody say something about they wrong doing, the first thing they gonna do is try to go and attract them talking about they hate all white people. Hell, he be in white churches. That's right. <laughs> Why the hell they let him in there if he hate all white people? That's right. And black people, do you just tend to believe whatever Crocker tell you? You can't believe these demons. That's right. They own the news. They are the news. Yep. Everything you know you got from Crocker. Every book you read, you got from a Crocker. That's right. Go and see if a nigga wrote that book you got. That thing said Mr. and Mrs. Crocker. That's right. You can't believe them. That's right. Crocker pen to try to keep their credibility. They are notorious liars. Liars. Now I'm going to sit around and believe all of a sudden he done sat down with this book and started writing the truth. That's why you got to correct it. So you, he gave you a book and tried to show you well right at it, but here you ain't going to take that. You're going to stay with the wrong. That's the danger part. Now I showed you when time will be kept. Explain to me how you still keeping time from, sun, from when the sun come up. The sun go down. That's how we mess them up every time. Every time. But this is what has to happen in order to change us. What we believe got to be shaped, just like what we believe. It's got to be tested. If it ain't tested, how you know it'll work? How you know it right if it ain't tested? What these people got, it ain't hard to test it. First Corinthians 15, I just kill every Christian church they got. Mm -hmm. They can't explain that now after that. Explain me Friday night, Sunday morning. That's all I need you to explain. I'm going to show you the 12th chapter of the book of Matthew, and you explain me, he said three days, three nights. Where you got that from for Friday? And they know the damn way they're going to sit there and they're going to go out. Hmm. You ain't the first one I've seen with that. <laughs> God been showing me you. <laughs> I know, nigga. Just answer the question. Right, right, right. Explain me how you getting three days and three nights from Friday morning to Sunday morning. Now, according to you, you said early. Ain't hard. Two, book, two little writings done taught on a whole Christian church. Yep. And what you believe in now? Now you ask yourself, what else you got wrong? I don't want to know. Exactly. That's what happened to every prayer. Nobody don't want to know. Because again, it's going to cause you to take on responsibility. Mm -hmm. so, finish with this 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Let's see how, why they don't get it. Yes, sir. Listen to the book. But have renounced the hidden things of dishonesty. Not walking. In craftiness. Nor. Handling to the bar of Elohim deceitfully. But by what? Manifestation of their might, commending ourselves to every each conscience in the sight of Elohim. But. If our Dabarim be hid, it is hid to them that are lost, in whom the Elohim of this world had blinded the minds of them, which do what? Believe not. Lest the who? Our order of the glorious Dabarim of Mashiach, who is the image of Elohim, should do what? Shine unto them. That's what they don't want. They want to stay in dark like Barashit. The light, when the light shine, it started manifesting. It started showing things. Darkness cover up a lot of stuff. You can wear a black shirt, black suit, black pants. You can cover a whole lot of dirt stains. When that light hit on light white, man, look, the little stuff, you be like, goodness, I ain't even see it. Everybody yep. see it. Yep. You hear, you say, nobody want up there say, you know, you got a stain right there. You be like, mm -hmm. goodness, Eric. you know what you need to do? Wear well, something dark. Mm -hmm. That way people don't see it. Yep. That's why they go to Christianity, it's dark. Yep, that's right. Everybody in their religion dark. Yep. So they all see the same thing. You put two Christians sitting down here, they don't even believe the same thing. <laughs> That's right. Some of you in here have a different mindset. But you know what we do? We bring it back into discipline. That's right. Back in that second Corinthians chapter 4 at verse 12. Listen to the book. So then death worketh in us, but Kai in you. Mm -hmm. We having the same ruach of faith. According. To, according as it is written. What happened? I believe. And what you do? Therefore, I have spoken. I'm the only one? We also believe. And therefore? Therefore speak. That's what he just said. The only way we're going to have the same ruach of Amana, that means we all have to hear the same thing. There's no way for all of us to believe the same thing if we hear something different. 
Like they had, you, you know, it's different ways to go. You got your faith. I got my faith. He got his faith. But longer, I heard somebody tell me, say, you know what? Our religion is, it's just different roles to get to the same place. I said, that's so damn stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that is so damn stupid. That's right. It's just crazy. There's only one way. One way. Let's see what it's talking about Ephesians 4 and 4. That's it. Ephesians 4 and 4. They, they, they love this hymn. They love they ask them why them in church are crying. All them Christian, all them don't worship together. Let's see what happened. Ephesians 4 and 4. Listen to the book. There is one body. Uh-oh, there is one. So what do you got? How many bodies he got? One body. Well, same, but one. Listen. And one Ruach. And what, ain't but one Ruach. And what happened? Even as you are called in one. Uyakra. And he called. Yes, sir. Listen when he called, oh, Brandon. He said, these are my, muha, these are my days. I worked six days. The seven went, I don't do no work. Now, ain't but one body. Well, see, you know, my God. He got people that serve Monday, Sunday. Some of them might even go on a Saturday for the reason they go. There's some people that have Wednesday. But the man just said, as you call, all we got is Uyakra. Mm -hmm. Amazingly, that's the name of one of our whole books. That's right. And when he called, he called Mushar to tell him, these are my times. These are the times I keep. Your Sunday and your Monday ain't in them. Now, the man just said he only got one body, which means you ain't in it. This is all questionable. But my belief and my faith say he got many different people, many different religions all on the hill. I don't know where you got that from. Where is it written at? Because he said we having the same Ruach of Amana according as it is what? So if we all got the same Amana according as it's written, how we all got different faiths? How we all got different religions? It wouldn't make sense. This is not even common sense. This is not even common sense. Listen to the book. Even as you are called in one hope of your calling. How many? Listen. One Adani. Ain't but one. What else? One Amuna, one immersion. See one that? Allahim and Abba of all. Who is well? Above all. Where? Through all. And well. In you all. He ain't over you. He ain't in you. He ain't coming through you. That's dangerous. That's dangerous. For a lot of stuff we're doing, it's just dangerous because as a Christian, I remember reading that, and we were trying to talk about how everybody had to be apostolic. I can't apostolic. That's why I came from Baptist apostolic. More sophisticated Christian. It's all the same shit. Yeah. They did just as much whole money as they could. I thought they would live in hell. They did just as much whole money as anybody. Lying ass. They had more lying than anybody. Oh, they, they cut down on it now. You hit the math thing, I'd be like, Whoo. I like that. I said, this thing tight. Lying ass. Adulterous ass. Yeah, they were more crooked than any damn body you ever seen. Oh, they had me throw all my damn ties. I had some nice ties. I said, they said, I said, why y'all don't wear ties? I said, fall profit wear ties. I throw them away. I let them nice ties in. I had some nice clothes. I throw away one me look all shitty. And I, yeah. <laughs> You don't want no night clothes. You know, once you look all shitty, look like you doing that old tired ass shirt with the little button in the middle of that choke my damn self to death. They mess me up, man. All them bastards got ties now. They just mess me up. Ain't no book discipline, nothing they talk. They messed us up. They had more whole money than any damn body. More cricket preachers, cricket ass deacons. Oh. That don't even make no sense. Mess you up. Oh, it was a good talk, though. They said, oh, how y'all know he ain't doing it? If I am doing it, I ought to go to hell. No yes, repentance. Right. I don't believe it. Listen, when you're going to sell me, you're going to carry a position, you got to walk with it. Yes, sir. That's, That's right. just being honest. Somebody got example. That's right. Sad part of these people don't want to be an example. You got to believe. You got to believe. It gotta be, you got to be true to what you believe. That's just being honest. Everybody that's going to name the name of Yahushua, he said you got to depart from iniquity. Every one of us, you got to depart from it. The problem is with these other religions, you can just feel bad and keep doing wrong. Feel bad, stop doing wrong. Yes, right. 
Don't keep going back to the behavior. You got to change from the behavior. That's what we got to do. When he said renounce, we got to quit. You can't quit now you never start. If I quit my job, that means I used to work. Well, I used to work sin, I quit. That's what you got to do. You got to renounce the hidden things of this son. The thing that people don't say, you got to just let it go. Not walking in crap. You don't try to deceive people. No. You ain't trying to do that no more. You're not trying to handle the dabarine deceitfully. He said, but manifestation of the truth. I mean, you're trying to let people see this what it is. Committing, I said to every man country, that's your mind to see it in right and wrong. Committing, I said to every man country in the sight of all of him. Yes, he sir. said, now, but here it be here. You do know you lost. Yes, sir. Because I done told it to you and showed it to you. So if you just don't get it, you do understand your loss. That's right. And you only lost because the God of this world done blinded your mind. Because you don't want the light to come in. The light done came into the rock and he got you believing it ain't come. He done blinded your mind. Otherwise, you might see. You might start believing mm -hmm. and you might be converted. Mm. That's what's dangerous about these religions. Religion is dangerous thing ever happened to man. It's the biggest part. These people are talking about drugs and everything. Religion. These people religiously kill us. They religiously lie to us. Yeah. They religiously feed us poison. They religiously give us bad education, uh, bad medication. Religion is one of the worst things ever happened to us. Yeah. That's being honest. They religiously do everything they're doing. They religiously go to war and kill and destroy the country. Still and take people good. Religion is bad. We need the doctrine of Allahim. Religion is very bad. Very bad for us. Especially for our people, for our color. We don't want religion. You know, I know I got religion. Yeah, slave. Yep. Slave. Yep. All this slave stuff. Slave. Religion is bad. Religion will keep us down, keep us dominated. That's right. We can't see. Let me say, it just look natural for a white man to be over us. It don't even look right. We had a black, it didn't even look right. It didn't look right. There were things he couldn't even say. Because, you know, he realized, I'm black. I can't be on no white people. Yeah. Because he was a Christian. Yeah. I can, I can be on white people. That's right. I can build with anybody. I said, like, shout, I got a thought. I can lead it by any of them. Yes, right. Y'all hear me? See, Christian, they don't think they, think they need a white man. They got a little white man usher in the church, get up there and praise him, tell him he the next savior, and try to put him somewhere for him. <laughs> he ain't my savior. That's right. Tell him to take that piece of shit and get it out of there. That's right. <laughs> yes, sir. Every time I came out there, I came out with broken promises. Yep. That's that man. Why, we can't, why you can't ever see yourself in a better light? Because nobody ever tried to show it to you. You always got to see yourself having a master over you. Mm. I don't need no master. That's right. Ain't that right? We definitely don't need no slave master. We got an Adonai. We got Yahuwah Elohim. That's right. We don't need these people to rule over us. We can rule for ourselves. We can govern ourselves and we'll do a better job. Educate ourselves we'll do a better job. The reason you had to go to college, y'all set your kids up to go ahead with this detrimental education. The average you going to school with some shit you can't even work it in the field of. Yep. That's just how wasteless your stuff is. Yep. Waste of time. And you go to school to work on a white man's job now when a white man fire you, where you gonna work at? All you been trained how to do is work and slave for a white man. You haven't been never trained. College don't teach you how to create. It doesn't. It just teach you how to work. Fact fine. And you're only you're limited at that. Because if you had you done some real research, you'll realize how useless college is. Yeah. Hey, you do better get a trade, something yep. you can use skill and use your hand. That's right. Your hooshua was a carpenter. That's, That's why the right. man could build. He told my upon that rock, I'm going to build my, my congregation. I'm going to build my bath. He could only do that because he was a carpenter. Mm -hmm. He was skilled with his hands. Come on, man. Look at Daoud. Daoud was a master with his hands. With weaponry and to be able to play instruments. This shit these folks trying to teach you is useless. That's right. Shit had you on a welfare line somewhere. Yep. Got people with education too damn dumb to go out here and create and make something. They got to wait on somebody to call their ass. <laughs> Fill out some damn paper and sit around and keep pissing and fail. Create and make your own. That's right. That's what Jacob did when he walked out from his father-in-law house. Yes, he wanted to make his own way. That's I like right. that. You don't create, you don't say that. I love it. You know I love that my friend. Time to make my, I think just like you're cold. I look at these four jobs. Last time I got fired, my ass ain't look for another job. <laughs> Best day of my life. Yeah. Never see nobody. I used to work for the kind of, hey, you, I used to be your boss. I tell her, kiss my ass. Yeah. Because I ain't coming back. Make sure I ain't never coming back. That's right. I'd be like rich on hall night. Yeah, yeah, they put, put, put the boss on the phone. Yeah, they're tall. Yeah, I ain't never coming back. That's right. That's right. Never coming back. Time I got to make my own way. That's right. When your cold left off of labor, you ain't never seen when he went back. Listen, built the wall up between them. I ain't never coming back. Yes, sir. I ain't never coming back, cross back over to you. I'm done with you. So when you can get your hand free and break off and even get rid of that psychosis and think you got to work for these crackers. 
Hell, you can't go out here and make more than what you make in a day. This, this is what killed me with people. It's enough business in the industry. White people go here. They got a white woman. Lost her job. This heifer went and got leaves. Correct, collect the leaves. Spray painted the damn thing gold. Sold her. She rich. That's all she went and got some damn leaves. Spray painted them gold and sold her. Damn heifer, they never got to go back to work again. Got a business doing that. Yo, dumb ass sat here and keep filling out paperwork, going through shit all about your mom. Man. Don't put my damn name out for no reference. Mm -hmm. Nobody need to be calling me for what? Hell, I ain't going to, I ain't going to work there. That's right. That's the right. hell you put my name on there for? That's right. Look to me, yeah, what you know about, uh, Lee? hell, what you know about it? That's right. Who did the police? <laughs> I'm all this shit, fingerprinting, all this shit. Hell, I ain't going to be doing but working. Mm -hmm. You give me a damn ten dollar. I go to McDonald's and ask all them damn questions. Mm -hmm. Well, then still be constructed. They got that shirt sure, bundle of all kind of burgers. I'd be on the corner down the street selling burgers. <laughs> Flagging that out. What you trying to get? <laughs> trying to get cheap. What you kid? What you want? Happy meal. Got that. Go on. Let me get that. Roll off. And McDonald's be like, damn, we slow up here. Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that right? I'm coming up. Yeah, that's right. I got a sauce in my pocket. I got a body squirrel. Tartar sauce. Stick that thing. Keep rolling. Tell him, Teddy, friend, get a little card on him. <laughs> tell him, I was in McDowell. My seed has, my, listen, my buns have no seed. That's right. <laughs> Isn't that right? Pick all the seeds out of them. That's right. And then, you know what's bad about us? This is what's bad about church. Church teaches you how to pray the slave. Our religion teaches us about freedom of, freedom of creating. That's what I try to tell you. That. Listen, this is what I do when I do business. <clears throat> Two things on house. Either I'm going to make it or I'm going to fail. Neither one of them got no bearings to my salvation. The only reason I'm going to fail, because I tried. You'll never fail, because you ain't going to ever try. All you've been taught, well, we don't need people. Think about it. If somebody don't take your money out your check every week and put some of it and pay your taxes, how you going to make it? You ain't damn responsible enough to get money, make money, and set something aside. What would we be doing before? These people don't even realize Social Security didn't come along to like in the 40s, 50s. So what were people using to take care of themselves before that? Before the 50s, what were people doing to put up their money? Because people survived before then. Mm -hmm. They think somebody got to take the money. Before these 401ks, in the 60s, hell, a nigga ain't learned about them until about the 80s. Yep, yep. White folk been had that stuff. So how are we making it? Why somebody always got to take your damn money and put your money? You ain't got enough city to put up your own money. I teach out here, you buy real thing, you buy real product, you can turn around and sell, you can see your interest, you know how to put your money, and take your money, you make your money, make your money. That's simple principle. That's all white people, white people ain't even making it. All their companies are fictitious. They operate in the red, they're borrowing money. Average these companies are factoring. These companies don't have the money. How many of y'all work jobs get paid every week? There's no way your company had the money to pay every week. A lot of them factoring. A lot of these companies in the red, they ain't even got it. It's just a pyramid scheme that everything crashed, and then your ass be on the street. Mm -hmm. Look at Walmart. Walmart, one of the most industrial businesses out here. How all of a sudden they just closed after Christmas? Because the hype finally died. Who went and checked their bank account? How many of y'all actually, actually looked through their paperwork? They closed down because they ain't never had shit. They gave you illusion, and they just gave them new reports. You think, I'm going to let the news come through and look through my bank account and give you actual direct numbers, or they're going to call me and I'm going I'm to fax them and send them numbers. I'm going to send them projections. They're not going to go through my books because they're going to see them in the damn red. Yep. Y'all need to get conscious. You can't need people to pay you in two weeks. How you know they're going to have the money? Shit, man, I have made my own way. Yeah. I know, listen, if I'm broke, I damn sure going to know it for anybody else. Yeah. For anything crash with me, I'm going to know it for anybody else. I got to live it like that now. I can't trust nobody no more. Hmm? I'm just being honest. We, we put a lot of hope and confidence in people. We can't trust these people. They have the whole problem why we're breaking us away from them. These people build premise on the whole country built on a lie. Why are you going to pay me the truth? You're going to pay me a lie. That's right. <sighs> Y'all, everybody different to me. That's how I look at stuff. Listen, all these people, y'all afraid to go in here and you're afraid to inspire you, to dream and have and create, you're going to have to be willing to give it to all. Yeah. Just like that song, Gave It My All, that's the only way I'm going to fail. 
I got to go for it. I just, listen, I tell them, I don't give a damn. I try it. It don't make me no different. I look at it right here. I sell these four drugs. I bust my ass on them people's job. Mm -hmm. Payment came back to me. My ass got fired. I was dedicated. I was loyal. I would do and go beyond what nobody else would do. And my ass got put in the street. I realized that if I took that same energy and put it behind myself, I can make it. Hell, I made them money. Mm -hmm. Why well, I can't make it for myself? Y'all all right? Yes, sir. That's right. I had to figure back then, last time I had a job, I'm making, hell, what, 40 thousand dollars a year? So this man can pay me 40 thousand dollars a year, and I'm driving his truck. He got to pay for this truck, and he got to pay for fuel, and got to pay for repairs, and he got to pay my insurance, and a part of my Social Security, and a part of my uh, retirement and everything else. How much am I making it? Right. Right. That's right. I know, it, I know how much it cost me to operate a truck. Right. Yep. I know what it costs me to operate a truck. Yeah. Now, if I got to pay somebody part of their Social Security, pay part of retirement, and I got to pay unemployment benefit, and I got to match them dollar for dollar on his 401k, mm -hmm. and I can it still give me $40-something and pay my benefits for my family, all I pay is $23 a week, and I had a PPO, not an HMO. That's right. So That's how right. much money am I making you? That's right. That's right. They don't think, they don't think like that. Too much, I know, still a Christian. Mm -hmm. You don't want to think. I make you a whole lot of damn money. Whole lot. You got to be making profits. Yep. Now, every year you can come around and give me a dollar. Because he looked at his number when he get through and say, hell, you do good. And I turn around and give you a dollar on what you're doing. Mm. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. These are things, but you know what you do. I ain't trying to question, try to think. I said, though, Griff, I got a job. Come out that nigga spirit. That's right. That's right. Yeah, that man start looking at, listen, you're on the job. You need to be learning how to create to get yourself out of before they fire you. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's it. Listen, when these people downside, these people close down because the hype coming down. Yeah. When this hype come down, who you think the first people hitting the street us? Them Walmarts and Sam Closer, those are not majority of white people in the street. That's our black ass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because you don't learn how to live all eight and twelve dollars an hour. White people ain't loving no shit like that. We are the people that's gonna wind up being hurt. So that means we gotta get smart and start setting ourselves up. Before anything come down, you get put out, you gotta make sure you already on. Cause as soon as they cut off, you gotta be the transition and move. Hell, I got fired, I had a truck the next day. Yeah. The next, not that week, not that month, not that day, the next day. That's right. That's how I worked. I had to transition. That's right. I had to move from a company man to an own operator. That's right. Changed my mindset that fast. I said, man, that's a yep. big Because I was thinking, hell, get another job. That man said, man, I got a truck. You want to get it. I gave it down. Paper. I got that truck. My head was driving that day. Yeah. I went back and said, man, man said, he said, hi. He, said, he see my side. Talks to the guy. He walked out the door. He said, how you, how you get a truck? I said, well, he said, I just fired you yesterday. How you get a truck the next day? I said, it just happened. He said, sit in your car and wait. We're going to bring your stuff. He said, I don't want you to talk to nobody else. Said, the, cracker, the cracker told me to get in my car, sit in my car where he didn't want me on his property and talking to nobody else. You know, no guy, they, they were saying, I said, I got a truck. Yeah. They were saying, you got a truck. My ass ain't never, never. They hit me. They'll see people. Tom Smith, hey, come up and say, damn you. Damn you and your whole family. That's right. That's right. I see them crackers. They said, run your ass over. That's right. That's right. Go back there and show that cracker for what? You know, bust one of my damn tires or yep. something. Or call the police, claim I tried to rape them or something. I ain't never been back. Damn them. That's right. Best thing they ever did when they fired me and put me in the street. See that good attitude I got about it? <laughs> Just being honest, I try to teach y'all that you got to stop being afraid to create. Yeah. <sighs> Let me tell you something. It's too many opportunities out here to make money. This is how white people do it. And once they get, they get you. Because they know when they get us, we the most loyal, dedicated. You still got that same slave mentality. Hell, you'll work yourself under. You'll work through breaks. You won't even say that about what you do. You'll just keep going because you want to help the company. Put that same energy behind your ass and get out of right. your That's right. That's right. That's right. When you start out, no, you ain't going to make no whole bunch of money. You're going to have to take some losses. You're going to have to make sure you connected with the right people to help sponsor you, to help keep you pushing until you get yourself set up. If you're going to do business right, it's going to take some time before it gets set. John, I remember you got that truck. How many losses you took? How rough was it? How many times like you weren't going to make it? Hell, they nailed the three trucks. 
He done learned the business now. Hold on, Chris, I remember you started out. Why rough was it? How many times? I remember you went back to work one time and put somebody in there. What you do now? Back in the truck. He, one thing, when you got there and you work, you bust your ass, who you doing it for? Your truck went down on you, didn't it? How many they want to fix that truck? 20 some thousand? Got another truck. Keep going. And looking for more trucks. Don't forget now, he didn't know how he was going to make it. Hell, man, y'all, let me tell you something. Ain't nothing start out easy. Nothing start easy. But you got to be willing to put yourself behind what you're going to do. You got to be, if you don't believe in it, don't expect nobody else to back you. These guys got to spread their tail away. You got to jump and you got to learn. You got to go. You got to get it. You're going to take some loss. You're going to look at it like, goodness, sometime maybe I'll go back. Then you realize, start balancing yourself. I'll be doing what you need to do. It take time. You ain't just going to just jump, start something, going to get good. It take time. It will. Everybody be doing it. Plus, you got the blockade of people going to try to fight you to keep you out. Man, I first got that truck. I remember I was out of play one time. Them guys seen me in the line. Them guys seen me. I was in the rail line waiting. Them guys, they said, I said, yeah, they said, you, they said, you just started. I said, yeah, I got a truck. They said, Phew. man, he just got a truck. That joke finna lose everything. I'm seeing him saying, lose everything. <laughs> no, I was scared as hell. I was like, what? They were laughing. They said, dude, they were like, they were like, oh, man. They were like, oh, man. Worst thing he could do, got a truck. I'm like, damn. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was scared. I was sitting that line scared. I was saying to myself, I might have messed up. I said, trying to keep my composure. Nothing, 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 nothing shook me. Guy seen me, he pulled me, he said, he said, come here for a minute. He said, look out there. He said, what you see? I see trucks. He said, you think ain't no money out here and all these people sitting out here with trucks? That's right. That's right. I said, he damn right. I ain't now think. Listen, I ran the damn doors off that truck. Listen, I grind on that. Man, I could put eleven, thirteen thousand dollars a month in a truck. Smile you to grind. These folks don't know I'm a grinder. Man, look at him. Them folks can't do nothing. I grind. Keep the dough closed and keep a Gatorade bottle. I wouldn't even start to piss. That's the truth. I wouldn't even start to piss. I piss at a Gatorade bottle. Keep moving. I ran the doughs off that truck. I had a cunning Joe tell them folks. He said, look at Tony Smith. Say a number one driver. They used to hate my dad. Jonah said, he'd come out of my dinner. You tell you. They told listen, them guys run all across the place. They be running state car on the way. They tell They said, we don't make more than Tony Smith. Damn right they did. I was a hustler. That's right. Man, once I, listen, once you catch what you're doing, I know who I was believing, what I was serving. Let nothing they stop me. Right. I had so many business. I don't give a damn about no business. I owe my business do it. I shut that shit down and do something. I don't give a damn. I buy a truck. I put dry. They piss me off. I sell the damn truck. They don't see me do it. I don't give a damn. And I still, I got other trucks. Right. I got more shit than I even want. I got shit in place. I don't even know where I shit at. I got to go find my shit. It's just being honest. Because I don't let them stop me. Let me I said it to try to wake our people up. Once you get positioned on what you believe in, what you're doing, listen, you got to believe in yourself. Y'all be scared, Y'all be talking, don't talk to me about no scary shit. Listen, on the one or two things, either you're going to make it or you're going to fail. You can't fail if you don't try. If I know what I believe in, hell, ain't nothing going to stop me. That's just how I look at it. Don't make no difference. What's going to happen? None of that has no bearing on my soul, but I'm not going to be somebody sitting around old as hell, rocking, talking about what I could have did. I'm going to hear that shit. I don't want to hear tell to somebody else. Right. I want to people, I'm going to do it. Y'all yep. hear me? I believe in what I'm doing. I believe in who I serve in. I'm going to do it. That's all to it. What y'all scared of? Yeah. Then the fact, it's so many of us. That's what get me with y'all. How many times I try to pull y'all and try to make y'all put something together? It ain't even like I'm a greedy nigga. How many times do I offer y'all, let's sit down and let's do this. How many? And y'all drag ass to death. Because y'all love these damn jobs. Y'all sitting around on something. How you know your ass ain't finna be fired Monday? I told them one time years ago. I said, y'all sitting here, they be meeting on Sunday, don't get rid of y'all ass. They had a big thing in the right of that um, uh, money saying they went ahead, a company had met that money and Sunday and fired their ass that Monday. Yep. I've been told y'all, you be sitting here playing the weekend, these folks looking at their numbers. These people looking at projection. These people looking at when to get in and get out. Your ass set too long with a company. You got to know when you get a company, when to get in and get out. I do that with Ben. I was getting a while. I said, let me get out. I'm a business man. I can't sit in too long. Anyway, we projected it in 2052. Hell, we'll be dead by then. I got to get mine out of here now. If we be here, then I'll try to see if I can come up with something then. Plus, I got a gun. I'll rob everybody who made it after me. At the end of the day, I can't be sitting around waiting on nobody no 2052. Hell, I'm dealing with the now. 
Y'all hear me? I got to deal with the now. I'm in the here and I'm in the now. I got to make something click now. Yes, sir. Anybody going to give me? I'm a black man. I don't want nobody to give me now. Either I'm going to make it or I'm going to take it. Yeah. I got a book. 14th chapter of the book of Shafatim. I'm going to get y'all out. I got some good stuff up in y'all, but y'all done pushed me off in the bin. Because you know what? I want to see my people to create. Yeah. Mate, these guys are telling you, I try to tell them. I always try to set, I set them up for their next level. I said, this need to be your next level. Listen, this is what I learned. While I'm sitting in here, let me tell you what I do. While I'm sitting in here, the people making me money. That's right. While you sitting in here, you ain't got shit. Because mm-hmm. everything you got is based off your ass. Yep. While I'm sitting in here, people make me money. Yeah. I left my job yesterday. What? Three o'clock. I picked somebody to drop them out to pick up a car, I had to go drop it off. Yeah, they hit me back, told me I got money. I made money. I wasn't even there. That's what I do. Y'all got set. I've been trying to teach y'all mm-hmm. that. You want listen. The signs y'all got of making money off yourself, I don't need to make no money off me. That's useless money to myself. I need to make money off of other people. I need people to make me money when I'm not there, when I'm not doing nothing. You waste too much time, I'll just try to make money off yourself. I take the same signs that J. Paul get it. I'd rather make 1% off 100 people than 100% off myself. Yep. yep. If I got 100 people in here, 100, 100 of y'all give me 1% of what you make, I guarantee they're going to be, well, no, that's not going to be a good figure with y'all. If I took 1% off some more people out there that's making some money, <laughs> that's going to be more than I'm going to make 100% off myself. Yep, that's right. That's just being honest. That's right. You'll start <clears throat> off with making money off yourself. Then you need to start learning how to make money off other people. That's right. So when something's not working, something needs to be making you money. Yep. I'm trying to help out people here. Let me tell you what these people do. All this paying these people to learn shit, pay these people shit. You know why it don't bother me about people making money? Ain't no one man gonna make it all. That's right. That's you know right. when you are why these jelly hard ass niggas don't want nobody, man? Why would I want to see nobody else with something? Right. Mm-hmm. I spend more time in me with folks drag assing. Every time I get, I say, what I'm going to do, or what I say? We. What we going to do. Every time, am I, what we going to do? <clears throat> I'm willing to, listen, I've lost more money with this congregation down a little bit. I did better like Donald Trump buying holes and smoking dope. <laughs> but I didn't bet because I believe in our people. I say, our people, why won't we get together? Why won't we build something, set ourselves up, so you got some residual, you can have something for yourself down the road. You trying to work, just make off yourself. It ain't smart business. Not for long. What you gonna do when you get sick? Hmm? See, I can't afford to just, oh, I'm sick, I can't make no money. I got to be sick, and somebody still need to be trying to make me some money. Y'all got it? Yeah. That's when you start training. You start off with the one sprinter, one truck, or whatever one business, one idea you got. But you got to start setting yourself up where you got some other people. You ain't going to believe it. Hell, that's how your company make money. Mm-hmm. That's right. Your black ass ain't not working your ass out. The owner of the company ain't working like you. That's right. Hell, they be on vacation. They yep. chilling. Because they realize I done set up. I ain't got to be him. That's right. I got some people who are run ass, fly ass, drag ass to make sure I make all the money I can get. Yep. And they come back in and be proud. I said, that a boy. Mm-hmm. That a girl. Y'all got it? Yes, sir. There's some shit I ain't going to do. There's some other people. I go and look at some stuff and tell some people what they need to do. I'm not going to do it. But I'm going to get paid from it. Mm. Y'all got it? Yes, sir. This is what we got to <clears> do. <throat> See, what white people don't know, this, this is what we have served in liberty. Hold on, sir. Fifth chapter right quick. Again. I'm going to try to get it left and go. See, this stuff I shouldn't be telling you. You need to be paying me $69.95. <laughs> but you know why I ain't going to take $69.95 from you? Why? Because I know how to make real money without taking money from other people. That's right. See, that shit, these seminars pay $69. If they had a real crap and they were doing something, they wouldn't be, I ain't got time to take $69 to learn what I know. It ain't worth my time. That's right. That's right. You'll be holding me up. I'll lose money. Because I could be doing something else. Listen, if I ain't doing nothing, I'm doing something. People mm-hmm. come and say, Patty, you busy. I say, I'm always busy. I'm the only person I know I ain't, I'm busy even if I ain't doing nothing. That's right. In my mind thinking, I'm busy. Mind, bro. That's right. I'm always busy. And I'm trying to tell y'all how to stop paying EP. Y'all be going to these little shitty seminars, learn how to do property investment. Leave that shit alone. That's right. I'll show you how to do that for free. That's right. You think somebody's going <clears> to <throat> for $129, 
Somebody's going to set your black ass down and teach you how to buy houses with no money. And show you how. My name, Doofus. <laughs> with no money, I have $50,000. <laughs> Doofus, is you conscious? That's right. You ever heard of, y'all better start reading that damn small print at the bottom. That's right. Y'all do some doofus shit. People do stuff, stuff I do. My dumb ass member go pay somebody to teeth and ain't none of them made shit. Mm. Ain't made shit from it. I mean, y'all waste so much time with this stuff. I remember, I went, they went under the how much y'all made? By the time they get through playing that shit, look at these folks, run them through stuff. Man, you want to do it, I should make real money. It take money to make money. That's right. Don't let these people fool. Let me tell you something. There is no business that you're going to start for free. It's not going to happen. Y'all stop this shit. Don't let these people, this is illusion. That's right. People that do what I do, you know what we do? We spend money. Yeah. What the hell we spending money for and you can do it for free? Y'all wait too much time. You think I'm pay somebody, try, let me tell you, the only way you can get something what's called free, called hard money. Yeah. How many of y'all have heard that terminology? Hard money. You didn't know about hard money. Mm-hmm. That's how a lot of these people get loans. That's yeah. how a lot of people move hard money. Hard money play you. What yeah. they'll give you, you can get these houses for free. Still ain't free. Your it's ass gonna free. put down a percentage. Yeah, right. By the time I hit you with down payment, what you pay, I'm gonna get you a house. House of your choice. What we're we gonna do, we're gonna do 65% of the house. House at 100%, they're gonna give you 65%. ARV, you need to pay attention to this. After repair value, that's what they're going to hit you with. I'm going to give you 65%. Based on what the house costs, where they're going, and by the time you pay, I'm going to give you 65%. You're going to come up with the other different. I'm going to charge you every month, you're going to pay me a note for that house for a year. After a year, if you can't get out of that house, after you done repair and I gave you the money for it, I'm going to take the house. Mm-hmm. Now, your dumb ass just went here and just worked and got this house. I gave you 65% and the prep money. You don't went here and put this house together, on which I charged your ass every time you took a draw when you went and fixed that house. Yep. It's going to make you write down everything you got to do to that house, how much it's going to cost. I'm going to charge your ass every time you get a percentage. You say, well, to do the floor is $2,500. That's fine. Because you're going to send me an invoice for that $2,500, I'm going to charge your ass 150 that's what I'm going to charge you. And you still pay me no. Every time you make that draw, you got to put a roof on the house, $4,500. Charge your ass another $150. Your ass still paying the no. Every time it's called a draw. Every time uh-huh. you take, I'm going to charge you $100 to $150 every time you take your money back out. So your ass just steady losing. Yep. In one year, if your ass ain't out of my money got financing, I'm going to take the house from your ass and you're going to still owe me. Now, you just went and got a house and fixed it up. You did all the footwork to find the house. You done did all the footwork of finding people to get the stuff set up and find out the numbers to fix the house. I went over your number. You're damn right. That's exactly what it costs. Your ass going to pay. Oh, you also going to pay me back all my money. Every monthly payment you made ain't no shit off the principal. Mm. That's all interest, baby. It's called hard money. Now, I can help any one of y'all want to get it, get it. You ain't got to pay these people for that shit. It's a con. Yep. You know what I use? I use my damn own money. That's right. It's called business. You learn that shit. I done that shit in 2006. And you learn everybody to scam you. Yep. And you can't get out of that money. You got, they don't went to school and pay somebody to make an ass out of them for free. Mm-hmm. That sound like that free? Nope. Hard money. Can, any house you want to get, it come up, you good. Listen, your credit can be shitty. I don't care. Because when I go over your numbers, I already know I'm going to make my money back. Plus, you done did all the work for me. Plus, I done suck. Hell, I done hit you 150 times every time you got the draw. And you've been making a monthly payment. So that whole year I've been ripping your ass for a monthly payment. Every time you got a draw, I got another 150. I hope your dumb ass can't get out of this house. Yeah. Because I'm going to get ready to put a house on the market and I'm finna sell. And you ain't going to believe it. It's already fixed. Mm. So either way it go, you understand, I'm going to win. I'm going to send somebody that's going to verify the work been done to. I ain't stupid. They went to school. They went paid some some shit like this. I learned I've been doing business. That's right. I can help y'all. Now, how much that cost? Free. How many of y'all want to go get a hard money loan? Watch these people that tell me they hard. That amount of pressure, hard money loan, it's hard. A lot of pressure. I did that before. A lot of pressure. 
time, deadline, you got to get, listen, you got to fight, and you're going to wind up taking a loss on your money because every month you're paying. So now you got somebody to come want to get the house, they got you to find out it's a hard money loan. Your ass got to get out that loan. Yep. Now you're going to wind up getting rid of it for less than what it worth yep. just so you got to give me all my money. You like, whew, I got the house. But how much, you don't got all the headache, all the stress of this shit, and you don't got ripped both times. Yep. I set y'all up, y'all can do business, you can spend real money to do it, you can sit back and you can wait. You got to be pressured by these people that are about to pimp you and make a fool out of you. Man, listen, what y'all trying to do, they got women going to the courthouse there. Listen, bring cash, $400,000. Mm -hmm. Women, single black women, yep. $400,000, $300,000, something right. thousand, buy whatever they, cash money. That's right. Buy what they want to buy. I'm about to fool with that shit. Scrubs. And y'all pay people to teach y'all some retarded shit like that. You don't need nobody to teach you that. Don't pay these folks. Anything you want to know, I know it. Anything I don't know, you don't need to know it anyway. That's right. Because I don't know it. That's right. Ain't that right? <laughs> Patty, tell me about that third guy. What you need to know it for? I don't know it. Why you need to know it? <laughs> A lot of stuff people beat y'all. I want to teach y'all how to create and make your own. You need to be responsible for your own destiny, your own future, not somebody else. Everything. You know how dangerous it is? I look at how dangerous it is. I had my whole family count on me and a job and their benefit. When I lost it, that's everything. Mm -hmm. That is pressure enough alone to make you just quit or stop or do something crazy. I really count on me. Yep. I really just count on me. Right. I'm gonna finish y'all like Galatia 5 and 1. We got more we could have finished, but uh, we had to go here. For whatever reason, he want me to tell y'all that. I know y'all ain't gonna do nothing. Please don't come wait my time talking about, oh, I'm gonna do it, do what? <laughs> the dude on yourself? That's right. Yeah, man, I know what y'all been told. I've been told these people, it's like, I lose so much with y'all. I'm being honest Y'all are the most costly people I've ever seen in my life. I always lose with y'all. It's never a win. I never see it. But you know what I do, though? I do it again. I do it again. You know what I learned how to do? I made my money somewhere else. Yeah. I don't make no money with y'all. I lose with y'all. I have people I get a car. I just had somebody want a car. I got. You know what I'm talking about? I said, how much you got? Nothing. I said, I'm going to pay it. I said, I got your damn mind. <laughs> but you know what I'm going to do, right? Do they it. was in the office laughing. The preacher, give away car. No money down. <laughs> Free gas. They was in our fight. I was sitting out there with our preacher. Who are, no money down. $100 a month. Free gas. Free, blow the engine. Put the engine in. I was saying, they was in the office. I said, I, I, I love out early. Come on, I said, we got the office. They can go to the lot of Because you know what, though? I believe in my people. I'm going to make my money. Listen, if you ain't got but one skill, then yeah, you got to do that. I got other skills I could do. None of y'all ever going to take me out. None of y'all ever going to take me down because I do too much. I'm, listen, I'm a survivor. One way or the other, I'm going to make money. It makes no difference. When all else fails, hell, I have a gun. I'm going to get some money. I'm a businessman. Now, we can talk business or I'm going to say, get them up. Mm -hmm. Put your hands up. Break yourself, fool. Mm -hmm. But it's just being honest. We got to learn a crap. When you get a crap, you ain't got to be afraid of these people out here or how you going to make it. You got to give a damn about what they Dow Jones doing. I don't even use Dow soap. <laughs> <laughs> ain't got time to be sitting around watching no damn graphs and charts. I do like this. This is what I got in my pocket. And I spend this. I know where it's going. I know where it's going to bring me back. Or That's ain't right. Buy That's right. I already do my numbers. Before I spend my money, I had to do numbers in my head. In if I'm going to buy it, right. I got to know what I can do. What's the least I can take? That's right. I already know that before I done it. And I stick my money down, some shit doing this here. I don't know what the hell done happened. I can't recover that money back. I know where I put my money at. I know where my money at. I know how to get it back. I got my worst case scenario on everything I do. That's what I want to teach y'all to do. Do worst case scenario. Take your real money. You see your real money go. You stick your money in somebody's hand and let somebody take out and go come back and hand you some shit like this. Him? Hell, you might as well get on one of the little heart monitors. Mm -hmm. I'm not putting my money on no shit like that. All right, but I, said, I told him what to do in the machine. I sell them damn machine. Mm -hmm. I've been in too long. Yeah, well, I've been in, I just go, I'm a bit, I'm a bit of man. I go my instinct. Get out of I've been in too long. I don't have time. I got something else I need to be doing. I don't want to focus my mind on stuff too long. I just do, listen, tension span. I had to do something else. Take me too long. Yeah, do something else. I got something else I need to be doing. Check in it. Y'all get y'all, but I'm good. I made my money. Listen, I'm a hustler by trade. And I'm teaching y'all how to hustle. That's what we do. We got to hustle. Go, don't, don't kill your town a whole lot of stuff. Do real numbers. None of these millionaires, billionaires, fooling no shit like that. Let me tell you, I keep trying to tell y'all. 
Bill Gates ain't made no damn money from him. He ain't no big enough no stock market. This man created a product that brings real cash. Yeah. Warren Buffett, they ain't making no damn money rich because of no stock market. They create shit that you stick your money in. Then they sell them shitty graphs and take your money. That's how they make money. They already know the scale. They're not sticking their shit in there. Trump, before he got a nigga, he took his money out of the market. He used real, these people buy real shit. He got a casino. That's how you make real money. Dumbasses walk in there and stick their money down the machine and pull it and hope they're going to make a million. That's how I make my money. Mm. Y'all people say some shit. I can be listening to me. I be saying, I don't be want to hurt their feelings, but y'all not practical. People money don't make their money like that. That's a little play shit you do. You already know that scam. When they stake their money there, because they got inside trading. They already know from their other friend that being that listen, we finna rape they ass. We finna put a news story right here that finna make these people run go by this shit. You gonna make a bunch of money out of their ass run. That's why they got Martha Stewart. Yep. You think a cracker actually read a damn paper and go <laughs> rent a market? Y'all not conscious. Y'all not conscious. Y'all just not conscious. Listen, you don't make money, buy something real. That's tangible. right. That's right. People don't pay for no damn money. People pay for tangible goods. Tangible. Go in, go in public. How many of y'all went to public and bought stocks? <laughs> you did buy a damn stock of lettuce. That's right. A stock of celery. That's right. Those are real, those are real product people can put their hands on. You see real cash. I'm winging up. He just bought this. Okay. He bought it. Okay. This real. This real damn money come from his car down. Got time no damn graphs, no charts. Y'all wait too much time. You don't know anybody you know that made real money doing that shit. You don't know them. Buffing them make products. That's how people make money. I don't know what I'm gonna do with y'all. I just don't know what to do with y'all. Yeah, there's somebody out there with it. But what's the chance your black ass gonna make it? <laughs> you wanna do something make sense? You buy you something real. Yeah. I buy stuff real, right? I can sell my shit. If nothing else, I can get my money back. Yeah. I go stick my money on that damn piece of paper. How am I get that money back? Then you're going to charge me to get my own money back? That don't make sense. You told me I made this much money. Then you said, you already charged me when you bought it. When it made, then you're going to charge me to get it back? It's a scam. Yeah. It's a scam. I don't have no time for that. I just can't stick my life and stuff like that. I'm different. I ain't said no sin. I'm just being practical with y'all. Y'all got to start letting stuff make sense to you. Older people made good sense out of what they did. They bought property. They bought real products. Y'all got me? They had fun. They put their money up. They didn't even trust banks. Because they ain't want to hear no shit about no robbing, no law. They did. And those old people still survived and made it. Yep. Yeah, some old people had thousands of thousands of dollars. They yep. just took their money, put in a jar and buried it. They said, it's real. Yep. Shit didn't make sense to them going sticking their money somewhere else. They, I just keep mine and bear it. Yep. That's what they did. They said, I just take mine and keep it. Y'all all right? Yes, sir. If what I'm saying makes sense to y'all, y'all try to jump in that new way shit, that stuff for white people. That stuff and all this stuff, number pyramid scam. They tell you got that money, get your money, get out. Get your money, let me get it. Right now, give it to me right now. They ain't got it. They hope you're going to leave them to get it. If you can get it and get more than what you got, get it and take it. And I'll show you what to do with it. Mm hmm don't let nobody hold your money behind no damn paper shift up. Anything I got, I can go get it. I ain't got to wait on no graphs, no charts, and all this other shit going. I can get my money. Or I got my product. Mm -hmm. Are we all good? Yes, sir. Come on, get that five and one so I can get out of here. Galatians. They don't like that. They don't like it. I'm just different, man. I am, I'm old school, man. Old Some stuff school. scared me. Yeah. I start, man, I start losing 15000 My damn money was just dissipating. I said, what the hell? Well, we couldn't use that word, but now I think about it. What the hell? The inner man probably did say what the hell. <laughs> That's right. Because I ain't do shit. I'm trying to figure, where did $15,000 go? He said, <laughs> he said, you hadn't lost it. It's in the market. I said, where is that? He said, it's in there. I said, where? <laughs> he said, see, what it is, it's in the market. Now, if you take your money out, then you lost it. I said, where the money at? <laughs> he said, it's in the market. <laughs> I said, where? <laughs> There's some shit. He trying to, I said, like, what kind of shit you, who you think you're talking to? <laughs> but listen to the scam. If I leave my money in now, I ain't lost it. Nigga, this pyramid, I, I smell pyramid all over this shit. 
No, look at my shit was just dropped. They hit me 15. I said, what the hell done happened? Cause I was getting started, I didn't even look at this stuff. Cause I'm so big. Put that shit. So I said, oh, so what the mother? I mean, we need to talk. I said, stop the bleeding. Stop it now. Stop it. He said, you're gonna, you're gonna lose it. I said, man, I already done lost. Stop the bleeding. These papers killing me. I started, I said, man, y'all killing me. Stop it. I took my money. That joke said, Mr. Smith said, you just lost. I said, just when you took it out, get what happened? Market and took off, went up. I said, I could have left it there and lost some damn more money. Yep. He said, you right. <laughs> I said, I'm done. I said, I'm done. Y'all never get me that kind of money again. Done. Man, with 15, I could have did. You know what I could have did with 15 grand and one loss? I ain't never lost no 15 thought I know one business deal. That's crazy as hell. I'm sitting like, from some graphs and charts? I ain't got no weed or nothing, no cocaine, no naked white holes, $15,000 gold. You don't want to talk about stuff like that. Just leave it out there. You got it. Let me tell you, I'm, I'm trying to let y'all go. But See, what these people want to do now, they forcing a lot of y'all out of profit share. Some of the older people, I told them, Mother Cheryl, they came through some of them. I think Malcolm might have been some other one. Companies used to put you on profit sharing. As a company grows, you guarantee certain money. They want to force y'all like this Social Security because Social Security work the same. They got to pay these people. They done took their money. There's no way to get around it. Got me? They're fighting. Why do you Republicans fight? They need y'all to get out Social Security. They need you to put your money in 401k and keep showing you the hype of how good 401ks are. See, you put your money, you actually going to get more than just that little guaranteed money. That little 800, 600. Listen, that's no money. But if you put your money in a 401k, and then they got the other one. Ain't the 401. What's the other one called? 42K? What the new one they got? New one. What is it? 52. We do, they do 52 too in prison. 26 knee, 26 elbow. So go and get them 52, right? That, you might that 26 knee, 26 elbow. They call 52. So run, on, run your ass and get your 52s now. And all these people doing is setting you up. They need to get you in the market so the government can get rid of responsibility. See, a lot of these people, y'all not, not real smart. Y'all think a lot of stuff gonna be good. It's not gonna be good. When I get your ass on this market, that's when I'm gonna take all y'all money. It's just like the book told you. Nobody don't take up a trap that they don't call everybody intend to get. See, right now with Social Security, they're having to float money from us to pay them other people because they done effed up the money. So now, what the cycle is, we need to try to stop one of these generations and say, listen, let's go ahead and get y'all more into the 401k and start showing you the promises of money you can make and you'll have a lot more money versus you can have, they got like Mother, Mother Smith, Uncle Ted, Although it might be small, they guarantee they got to pay these people this money. Because they're going to be a shit storm. But if I get y'all to the market, and I come up and tell y'all about explaining to you what happened to your retirement. See, you hadn't lost it, Megan. It's in the market. See what I'm saying? Now, this is where I'm going to get everybody at, and this is where I'm going to flatline y'all ass at. Because all y'all going to wind up sticking your money in the market, and they're going to flatline. That's the only way they push you out away for these 401k. That's the only way they push you to try to get you a profit share. They're trying to get the company off responsibility paying. Mothers in that mother, they got to pay you the rest of your life, don't they? That's a bad deal. They could have stuck out a 401k, someone stuck her ass out, she could have been done. Let the market crack, what happened? We're done with her ass. Done. The fact that she's going to retire and they got to still pay her and still attach to her, that's a bad deal. Just like Social Security, it's a bad deal for the government. So we got to force all these people to get the 401ks and get them promise of making all their money and how much money they have in 20 and 30 years. I'm going to rape your ass. Jack the Ripper is still yet alive. What I'm trying to tell my people, we don't trust anyone. Y'all hear me? We can't trust nobody. Trust yourself. That's just, man, I just don't trust them. Anytime a white man trying to push me somewhere and try to, hell, that's how we got on that boat ride. You just got to go see I said, no, no, I don't know. I get seasick. That didn't stop his ass. I wound up, I got these naive braids that call handcuffs. You know, right? Anytime they're trying to push you, so history teaches us the white man that never delivers us nothing that ever been promising. So why are we so market friendly? Why are we, how many of us handling the money in the market? How many of us? How many of us owe these companies that the money going to? How many of us the makers of Bitcoin? Litecoin? Potcoin? Any of these stocks? Microsoft? Any of these stocks? We don't own shit. You just somebody sticking your, pumping your money into these companies. You're not the owner of manufacturing these companies. 
This company not producing you no paperwork. Hell, I can go and print some paperwork right now if you want it. What y'all need paperwork on? Man, in my line when I'm telling most of these companies operating the rent. Y'all people have no idea. Y'all got y'all whole life depending on these people. A lot of these people in the red. They are. Most of them coming in the red, they ain't got no money. That's why they need these folks to invest and create these numbers so people can stick money in the market. They can take these people money. You, so let me ask. So you stick their money in the market. What you think I'm doing if I'm the company? With, you know I'm taking this money, right? You know this damn money ain't sitting nowhere, right? You do know I got that money, right? So I can go do some more shit with it. Cover, pay some bills. Where y'all think that money sits somewhere? And it just sitting somewhere, just riding a roller coaster? When you invest, I got your money, nigga. Am I wrong? What are these people doing with investing money? They leave the money right there sitting on a line? Or are these people taking this money? The higher the, the dividend they pay back, that means the bigger the risk. Most of these companies are risky. Low returns on the fact I said I'm safe. They're not safe. That's just what they tell you. Folks, we just got to start thinking. Come on, Fifth Child. I'm going to let y'all go. This ain't that y'all want to hear today. They break it hard, him. Listen. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Mashiach hath made us free. And tell me, go back what now? And be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. You Behold, hear that? He just told me to stand fast in the liberty wherein the Mashiach had made me free and be not entangled again with the yoke of money. He just told me when he freed me from being a slave, he just told me don't go back. That's what he just told me. You know how I understand this? In Mizraim. Yo, bondage. He said stand fast in the liberty. Don't move from being free. Don't go get yourself back in debt and debt at these people again. He said he made me free. There's no reason for me to go back to him. But y'all didn't never hear that, though, huh? So what was he talking about? How do you understand that? Of course he's talking about sin. But how do you understand it as a man? Heart burning. How many of y'all jaw is a lot of stress? How many of y'all get to the point you really kind of regret your jaw or hate your jaw? It's bondage. They bonded. He told me you get out of it, don't look to try to go back to it. Because we cried when we was in Miss Ryan. Our office, they cried about it. He couldn't understand why it made sense for you to go back and get another one. When that man fired in that job, I ain't going to tell y'all. You know it worked just like Miss Ryan? We didn't walk out. They pushed us out. I didn't quit my job. The man fired me. Listen, they thrust me out. Just like they, amazing. I didn't quit. They fired me. They thrust me out. We didn't walk out no middle. Don't go tell people that lie. We were pushed out. We were forced out. Out of Mitzrayim. And you know what he told you? And don't look to go back. So why is it when these people let it go, we got their mindset of always go back to bondage? We complain about how early we got to get up, how much we got to work, how much more stuff we got to do, how much other people don't do, and everything is on us, how much more response they give, and don't give it to pay. And as soon as I lose one, first thing come to my mind, I need a nerd. And then I'm going to pray about that one. So some things are kind of confusing. Isn't this what you cried about? Isn't this what you complained about? So why did you go get another one? Because I just told you don't get entangled again with it. He was talking about sin, but you still got to look at the discipline about being a slave. That's good, I kid.